Man, shit, where that nigga son at, man? I told the trick at the beginning of the season what was gonna happen. That nigga owe me that money, man. Oh, see, I ain't saying. Hey, if you hear anything in the background, I'm kind of, I'm kind of washing my hair, but I'm, but I'm still here though. Oh, for sure, for sure, yeah. But that, but that dude, son, he bet you all that money. He ain't pay shit, bro. No, this shit sad, man. He was doing all that talking. I knew. I, hey, hey, I mean, you tried to warn him because I'm a Lakers, I'm a Lakers fan since 2000. And I could tell the championship team from a lottery team. And this team right here, 
by the way they play, bro, I knew for a fact, and I tried to warn him. Yep. I said this team is not is not championship uh, uh, a team. I know a championship squad when I see it. In 2011, I knew that that team was not wearing the chip. You know why? Because Paul Gasol saw for clear. Paul Gasol was not the same in 2011. He wasn't. Kobe Bryant was not the same. That Lakers team in 2011, it was not the same. After 09, 010, they fell off. So I, I could tell when a team can win the chip and when they can't. Like in 2020, that team had a great chance to win the chip because the way they played. The way this team has played all year long, it go ahead, huh? I say, yeah, and the way they were structured in 2020, they, they had great defenders, they had three point shooting, they had everything. So they, they, and they played they, and they played together. Yep. yep. You can tell they, you, you can tell a winning team from a chip from a losing team. Every I can name every LA team that I knew wasn't gonna win the chip. I knew that they went I knew I knew I knew that in 04, it was gonna win the chip. You know why? Because Kobe and Shaq was beefing all uh playoffs. And uh, and uh, in 08, I knew it wasn't gonna win because they didn't. It had no reason, no Andrew Bynum. I could pick out every series that I knew for a fact they wasn't winning. But Sonny, he was blindsided by he a Lakers fan. He was blindsided. Well, go ahead, y'all. What's up, homie? Yeah, man. Hey, go back at first. You were you were trolling and fighting me about this shit at first. But but like you said though, you try to tell Sonny, man. Sonny, you you might need to bag off that bit. He didn't want to though. He 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 stand first and man, we gonna turn it around. Man, I seen that shit. Here's why I had to here's why I had to troll her because because everybody kept saying I was a fake Lakers fan because I was because I quit uh, uh early in the season because I knew it I knew like about halfway through the season, I said we can't win the chip. And guys said, You're not a real Lakers fan. So what I did, I said, Okay, I'm a troll a little bit longer to hold it down. But but I knew I knew I knew from day one. That this team was not winning no championship, no defense, no bench. Uh, 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 Ad being out all season, Frank Vogel doing what he doing. This team was not championship ready from the get go, especially after they turned down the rules of Kyle Lowry, uh, Buddy Hill, and guys like that. And also when they turned down Christian Wood and John Wall, that was a nail in the coffin uh, for for Gold Mike. Yeah, yeah, and a lot of guys I'm hearing a lot of excuses that a lot of LeBron fans and some like the fans been making. End of the day, it's no excuses. End of the day, like you knew LeBron and AD known when they when they reached out to Russ and was talking to Russ, they should have had that real talk with Russ and to get him to buy into man. This is about the championship. This ain't about no ego. You need to come off the bench, man. Because mm-hmm. end of the day, you coming off that bench, you can still be you. If you on the court, yes, we're gonna be on the court together at times. But I want you to come off that bench so you could be you and you could give us that spark off that bench. Because in the, the day with LeBron and Russ on the court at the same time, one of them got to decide who's gonna play off ball or not. At the end of the day, neither one already didn't commit to who's gonna play off ball. That's it. That was the issue in itself. Then Vogel, he didn't have any control. So he in his feelings, and he pissed off that he don't get the respect that he deserved. It really started after they won in 2020 that Volga got pissed off because they ain't giving the type of extension that normally a coach would get after they win the chance. It was a lot of factors that you could plug into. Last shit was going to be a disaster, man. But it's sad. Well, they need no extension. Nah, well, I mean. That's but, right, huh? Nah, but, 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 the poli- but the politics shit of it, though, uh, Lakers fan for life. End of the day, a championship coach. When they win the championship, they always get the extension. Boone the holes can't coach right for damn. But since he won a championship in Milwaukee, guess what they did? They gave his ass the extension. So yeah, better coach than Vogel. Yeah, because remember, he was about nah, to get Boone fired. Boone can't coach at all. Hey, Herman, remember last year? He was, about to, he was on the brink of getting fired last yeah, year. Yeah, that was going to fire him no matter what. Mm-hmm. So Boone the holes don't have like Boone the holes can coach. I think Vogel actually a better coach than Boone the holes. Nah, I would I would say Von is a better coach. Now the yeah. reason, see, the reason why y'all want to be hard on Vogel now is because of this season. Mm-hmm. And end of the day, they didn't let Vogel be Vogel. Vogel didn't have any control. But imagine you being in a profession, you a head coach, you don't have no input on your roster, you don't have no input on your coaching staff, you can't help them make any decisions in the draft. 
So what the fuck can you do as a coach if you don't have no input on the roster of how you want to be? Hey, let me add, let me let me add on to that. Let me add on. Let me add on to that, Hearn. Yeah. Hearn. Every head coach that is coaching well in the NBA right now, they have had say so. And what's going on? Tyron Luke, why why did he look so good? He got say so. Why does Dick Nurse look so good? He got say so. Every head coach is good in the NBA. Got to say so, and what comes in, what happens, this or that. So how can you blame a coach that has no say so at all? You brought in a bunch of players that don't fit his system, and on top of that, you, you as the owner allow LeBron to have too much power, too much. You should have told LeBron, LeBron have too much power. Uh, no, no, no. See, you see, uh, Hearn, Hearn, guys like guys like uh, B- Bad Boys. They don't think logically, but he's a, yeah. he's a kid. He's a freshman, so he don't he don't understand. Never don't, call me that you again. If you're a freshman, if you're in high school, you're I'm a kid. Not a freshman, dude. Yeah, if, if you're below eighteen, <laughs> you're below eighteen. You're not a kid. I mean, I mean you're, you're, me a kid. you're not an adult. You're not an adult, bad boy. You're, I'm you're a young below, adult. Stop calling me a kid. You're below eighteen. You're below eighteen. Hey, so wait, so you're a kid. Bro. Bro. How old are you, bro? Actually, me. Yeah, actually, sixteen, bro. I like that kid. You don't kid know, is somebody you don't who looks seven old. years old. You don't know that no no kid. You are a kid. Anybody, so, anybody, t- anybody talking like you, you're a kid. Anybody talk basketball, where you talk basketball, <laughs> you are delusional. They ain't got you no problem that like Russ. It's okay to like it's okay to like a team. <laughs> look, look, Herman Humble. Here's the difference. Here's the difference. Here's the difference between Goat Mike and other fans. Even though I'm a Lakers fan, I'm not gonna lie for my team. Don't say you're a Lakers fan. I, say you're a Kobe. I am a lie. Hold on, hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. Hey, hold on, bro. Don't you ever come in here and just pick me, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you feel like hey, hey, Lakers fan, man. Get out your feelings, man. It is what it is. LeBron, man, didn't my have feelings. A, I don't agree. LeBron, LeBron, LeBron had more say so than Frank Vogel. So I mean, that's the truth about it. If that's, I'm not a Lakers fan, point. let me ask you this, Hearn. If I'm not a Lakers fan, right? Why do I watch every game, whether 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 LeBron plays or not? I'm watching every game. I watched last night's game without LeBron. I watch mm-hmm. every game, no, no matter who plays. LeBron, AD, and Russ can all sit out all season, and I'll still watch the Lakers. That's how much of a Lakers fan I am. I support my team when I was on it. Hey, when shit, they had this, this season alone should tell you that you a real Laker fan watching this atrocity, bro. Hey, hey, exa- exactly. They was going to be by 20 every game, and I was still watching. This, this shit worse than the 2012-2013 season. This hey, shit is worse. Hey, Humble, when they had Smush Parker Humble, I was still watching. No matter who's on the yeah, roster, I'm watching. When that, shit, that, shit was even, but that shit was worse, too. Hey, exactly. Exactly, Humble. Hey, Humble. Hey, Humble. Hey, Humble. Hey, Humble. Hey, the only reason that shit is worse because they had expectations. They had mm-hmm. they had they had championship aspirations. That's why this season is worse than that 2012 season. Mm-hmm. Why is that? See, this is what I be trying to tell LeBron fans, right? You got okay, look, LeBron, he's either all time great. Y'all say he number two all time. That's cool. But what y'all feel to what y'all, what y'all what y'all feel to realize is that, bro. Everything around him, he has to control the narrative of every little thing on the on the roster. You know, as far as the roster, the coaching, the system, everything. LeBron bro. didn't choose Vogel. It's the stupid Lakers who choose Vogel. Well, cool. Yeah, they didn't choose. They, they, he didn't choose Vogel, but Vogel came with the coaching system though, because they had to predicate everything around LeBron James for it to work. This 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 these past two three seasons. It's not a Vogel system, bro. Vogel does not run this shit, bro. And I be trying to tell y'all for for months now, you know what I'm saying, that this is going to be awful, bro, at the end of the year. I did not see us making the playoffs, bro. I'm going to be honest with you. I did not see these dudes making the playoffs, bro. Hey, hey, you you know have what? four top 75 players, and y'all motherfuckers ain't make the fucking play in? They can't blame. They can't blame. Hey, humble, hey, humble. They can't blame Frank Vogel because they didn't get him no play so and they traded all the guys that fit his system. They can't blame Vogel. Thank you, Low Life. Hey, hey, shout out to Low Life, man. Salute to you, bro. I know you be in the comments, bro. Keeping it one hundred. Salute to you, bro. That's a goat, Mike. Hold on, Crew OG. But um, 
Yeah, he said LeBron got to destroy that system of his. He's too old now to try and be running the team. And that's why I was trying to tell y'all, like, everything around that LeBron system, right, it doesn't benefit nobody but his, his himself. Like, you know, people call Kobe and got child the chip. They, they call Kobe and MJ ball dominant. They ball yeah. hogs. Told them ball you, you, hogs. I can tell you never watched basketball, bro. The triangle was a bunch of high low post entry with off ball movements, bro. Them boys didn't, op- bro. They had opportunity. To, they, bro, Kobe and MJ didn't, ha- didn't even have the opportunity to even collect triple doubles each and every night, bro. The balls. Easy. Yeah, they balls. I, I hear you. Bro. All right, but like a fan, I don't never, I don't never get, I don't never get mad at you because I know you brainwash them. Man. I don't even get mad. Yeah, I brainwash you, brainwash. Let me add man. this. Let me add this in the place. Yeah, he, let he, me add this. Um, let me. Know, let, hey, oh, hey, humble, hey, humble, hey, humble. Here's how I know this kid that don't, 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 don't know basketball. If you watch Kobe Bryant, right? Kobe Stop Bryant, Kobe, me. Hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. Stop talking in front of me. Kobe Bryant. N- did not have that many triple devils. He might get one triple devil for a whole month. Because he don't pass the ball. Oh, man. Stop. Hold on, bro. Yeah, one last time. One last time to cut in front of me. One last time. Because I'm talking right now. If you watch LeBron, what allows you to get a lot of stats? What do you have to do? You have to have the ball, right? The reason why LeBron has more stats than Kobe is the fact that he has the ball way more than Kobe. He has That's the ball cool. way more than LeBron. I mean, uh, uh MJ. Uh-huh. So, by LeBron having the ball all the goddamn time, of course he's gonna get all these assists and point record, score record, assist record, all that. You can't you can't break records without having the ball. So that's why that's why I say LeBron's had the ball more than MJ and Kobe because the stats prove that. The stats, the the, the, the uh, statistics prove that. Break that down, somebody, because because Bad would understand, bro. You can't break all these records when I have the ball. Yeah, like if you understand the the triangle offense, like a fan, the triangle offense, everybody on the court, everybody in that offense touched the ball before a shot goes up. So it didn't matter if you was the sorriest motherfucker in the world. In that triangle, you go touch the ball almost every possession. You go run to set, your post players go touch the ball. That's why the Bulls were successful. Everybody touched the ball, so you go feel involved no matter what. Yeah, Jordan had to take most of the shots because he was that good and he was the best offensive player they had. But everybody hey. still was involved for us touching that ball in that offense. Hey, hey let me address Humble. Let me let me address what Humble said because I I got like I've been having time off. Uh, yeah, but like I got a little bit of time to like basically to, to Humble's point. Here's the thing. Now, yo, I think see my only my big knock on LeBron is yes, he tries to listen it. At this stage of his career, as old as he is, he can't be just holding the ball until six seconds and then getting rid of it and saying, go ahead and make a shot, you know, because they, they got to get in rhythm. But you're leaving that key context, so humble, because um, if you're there, because you said that, um, oh, Le- LeBron is trying to run the, run this and run that. But that's not – that's always – let's have the context, though. He want, initially, right, AD, they were supposed to run that shit through AD. And then Russ is supposed to be a consistent guy that can come in and help in, in certain moments. But let's not let's put context, bro. That wasn't LeBron's game plan from the beginning of the season. The genesis of the season, the commencement of the season, he wasn't trying to run it himself. But when he sees that AD is not going to be healthy and LeBron, for whatever reason, he doesn't have any trust in his uh, supporting cast. I'm just I'm not giving him an excuse because, I, like I say, LeBron holds the ball for too damn long. His entire career, he's done that, but y'all have to if understand. That's the case, then, if that's the case, then, hey, hey, Texas, hey, Texas, if that's your logic, don't blame, don't blame Frank Vogel, okay? Because Frank Vogel had no I mean, say-so. Look. So, so look. Oh, yeah, Mike, I was trying to finish, dude. <laughs> Go ahead, I said, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, things. No. you can't blame, yeah. if that's your logic, you keep on going, Texas, I'm just saying. Okay. No, 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 play. yeah. <clears throat> you can't no. blame Vogel uh-huh. after you get to him. Go ahead. Yeah, no, yeah, I'm saying like the the genesis of the season, their plan was okay, AD. We're gonna run through AD. That was everybody knows this, but then he got hurt. Obviously, well, Russ, I, I I didn't think Russ is gonna be this bad. I'm just, I'm just gonna be honest. I think he's gonna be. He's just comically bad this season. He he's the worst player I think I've seen in a long time. That's supposed to be a star, somewhat of a. It really ain't his fault though. No, but dig hold, deep into it though. No, the, no, no, no. I'm saying his play, bro. His play, he he controls that. He can he controls those hard, tough, stiff bank shots. He controls the, the bad decisions at 34 years old or 33. Okay. 
But all I'm saying is, yeah, Vogel, I, I don't blame Vogel too much because if, if we're being honest, he's tried every kind of rotation. Now, he's made some dumb rotations uh, during the season. You can't but blame him at all. You can't blame him at all. Okay, hold on, man. Yeah, but he did his mail You can't blame Vogel. You can't give him no blame. No, we can't give Vogel no blame. Hold on, let, 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 let me finish what I'm trying to say. Let me finish what I'm trying to say. No, I'm saying – at times, come on, man. At it's times, I've watched. Do. Oh, hold it's on. What LeBron oh. fans do. They blame okay. Frank Vogel. Okay, go ahead. Sir, I just blame yeah. LeBron, bro. You just you you got selective hearing, bro. I blame you LeBron. Bro. Go ahead, Texas, bro. Go ahead, bro. Nah, this dude, this is this dude right here. You just shout your mouth. Did I not blame Bron no Is that, 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 that I play it back? Okay, 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 fine, fine. That's fine. You play shit back. I know what I did. And you'll find out I blame Bron too, right? Kobe, dude. But here's the thing, y'all. I mean, no, I'm saying no. I said, come on, y'all saw the season, right? When when guys were hot at times, he he took them out. I mean, that that's 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 the time that I give him the blame for. I don't give Vogel much blame because you're I, not you're not, honest, you're still not uh, listening, my guy. You're not listening. What, the reason what why listening he pulled them out? Look, Frank, no, no, bro, you kept him way too much. I I cannot I cannot endure that much cap, bro. I can endure a couple of seconds, but that's too much cap. Frank Vogel is a defensive coach. He liked defensive players. So, therefore, he's looking at Malik Monk, right? Malik Monk, yeah, yeah he's hitting. But hold on for a second, bro. Malik Monk is the kind of player, he'll, he'll make all the shots in the fucking world. He'll play no goddamn defense. So, Frank Vogel, he's the kind of coach. He likes a team that play uh, a more defense than offense. So, what I'm saying to you is, and Frank Mike. Vogel's trying to, yeah. input, he's trying to, input, he's trying to find guys that could play defense. Frank don't care about yes. no Malik Monk. Frank don't care about no fucking Camilo Anthony. He care about guys. Frank Vogel and is strictly a defensive coach. I know. You and Mike. Think, oh, bro, I, I, I'm, I'm not blaming him. I'm not blaming Frank Vogel for being right. himself, for being you. Frank Vogel, is, Frank Vogel, Frank Vogel had the same mindset as Go Mike. Frank had the same. No, no, stop cutting me off. Frank Vogel had the same mindset as Goat fucking Mike. Be yourself, no matter what, bro. And I respect but that about Frank Vogel. I Frank Vogel said, "I'm gonna play defense, fuck the offense, shit. I'm gonna do. I'm do what I'm known for. I'm, I'm ever since Indiana, I'm known as a defensive coach. It's 2020. Yes. I'm known as a defensive coach. Frank Vogel don't care about no Malik Monk. Frank Vogel don't care about Camilo Anthony." You're not listening, bro. The reason why he takes guys out when they when, when they hot because Frank Vogel's mindset is defense. His whole Frank Vogel mindset is like Dennis Rodman. Fuck offense. Okay. I'm about defense. Okay, Mike. So just... if you were gonna bring in if you were gonna bring in offensive players, you should have kicked Frank. You should kick Frank Vogel out, and you should have brought in a coach coach offense. Okay, Mike. So can I? You go, can't go, give you, you can't oh give Frank Vogel no blame in that okay, instance. Okay, Mike. Okay, Mike, I was ready to finish with that. No, no, what you're saying is true. Be yourself, but all I'm saying is let me finish, man, because, I mean, I mean, oh, it's you ridiculous. Know, man, you don't know basketball, dude. You don't sit here and blame Frank Vogel after I just told you what dude. his mindset is. His mindset is defense only. Fuck oh, offense. Jesus. His dude, mindset is quick. the same mindset as Dennis Rodman. His mindset is like Dennis Rodman. And defense, all the Hall defense, of defense, 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 saying, defense, defense. And all the Hall of Famers are saying you're, what I've been you're saying. Trying to blame, you're trying to blame a head yeah. coach for doing oh, what he's known for, right? You're trying to blame the head coach that's known for defense, and that's all he coaches, defense. Sure. He don't care about no Malik Monk. Malik Monk don't fit his system. Come on, Anthony, don't fit his goddamn system. These niggas on the team do not fit his system. Hey, Texas, you sure you okay. want to bring up you sure you want to bring up Hall of Famer? Because a Hall of You don't know basketball, dude. A Hall of, a Hall of Famer, sir. all time like a great the other day. Sir Chart. Said, Hold on, Magic. Said, no, said sir, that sir. It was LeBron, but Herman. Said that it was LeBron. Her for not magic, magic, Herman. tragic Johnson. Herman. Is tragic Herman. Johnson. Hold on, Herman. You can't, Herman. Herman. You can't Herman. call him tragedy, bro. You can't, can't do that. Bro, Herman, Herman, bro. If you listen to what I'm saying, bro. Johnson. I mean, Hold on, y'all. This is the problem. Oh, Jesus. We can't blame oh, Frank Vogel, bro. I'm sorry. Hold on. What I'm saying, Herman, if you fucking listen, bro, I mean, I, I, I'm i trying to tell you, you know what I'm saying? There are um, mad, no, Magic Charles and then Shaq stated that on TNT multiple times at times that you can't do that. So I don't know what you're talking about, but I was getting ready to address it before y'all just cut people off as, as usual. I'm saying, uh, th no, I don't like Vogel there because, yes, because. He, I said he should be. He should have been relegated to the defensive side of the ball. I, I say he's more of a defensive coordinator in terms of like you know how you got football because that's his expertise. But the only thing that I was saying was is listen, if, listen, we, we all know that Monk and those guys can't can't even play any defense. I'm saying, but so why would you sub, um, substitute uh, guys? None, none of the guys. 
Hold on, Mike. I'm trying to listen, bro. I'm, if you let me finish, just understand this, this is why your channel doesn't grow because people are trying to have a conversation with you. I mean, like, come on, this and is you just, keep and, and, and you broad fans keep blaming a nigga, bro. I, I refuse, bro. I don't give a damn about the goddamn subscribers, nigga. I'm gonna fuck, nigga. I tell you, I tell yeah, you, you fans. No, Yo, you got no, off, no, nigga. Shut the fuck up, bitch. It's a bitch ass. I'm talking. I'm talking. I've had enough. I've had enough, nigga. I tired of the broad fans being put in Frank Vogel, nigga. I'm tired of this shit, nigga. Jesus. You you, you gave me this other I'm talking. I'm talking, I'm talking, sir. I'm talking, sir. I'm talking. I'm tired of LeBron fans. Blame it, Frank Vogel, nigga. Frank Vogel's mindset is one goddamn way. If you're gonna bring in Malik Monk, Kamal Anthony, and all these other offensive motherfuckers, you should let Frank. You should let Frank walk. I'm talking. I'm talking. If you keep talking about me, you're gonna be up out of here. I'm talking. I'm talking, right? I'm talking. Because I had enough. I had enough. I'm dead ass. Yeah, I had enough. They hear the truth. They don't want to hear the truth. We all know what defensive coach. I don't, no, 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 I don't yeah, hear, no. No, 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 no. No, if if Humble ain't going or what, what I heard, I heard I, because bad boy and between him and Texas, y'all some hoes. You gonna sit here and blame a guy? You're gonna blame a guy that his mindset is. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Herm, Herman Humble. That's like asking Rodman to drop twenty. That's not his game, bro. Yeah. Asking Frank Vogel to coach offense is like asking Rodman to, to, to get twenty points. That's like asking. That's like asking Gary Payton to drop forty. Oh my god. That's like, like asking. To, that's like that's like asking Jay Crowder to drop thirty five. Are we serious? Even though he can, hey, he can't. That's, like asking, that's like mic, asking man. Pat Bear to get forty. Can he can get forty? Hey, hey no, yo, he like, can't. Go bro. Let me get no, like one second. Bro. Let me get like one second. Go, Mike. Let me get, get like that whole one shit out, man. I don't want to hear. If you come in here and do the same shit, nigga, I'm gonna fling your ass <laughs> in, nigga. Hey, go ahead. Hey, wait, wait. Get, like, you better come in here and talk real basketball. All right, appreciate that. Tonight we gotta focus on the New York Knicks. That's who we facing. We just gotta make sure we execute oh, everything God. we do just to stay focused so we can stay in the eight feet. Um, like I said, we just gotta motivate ourselves. As in, like, like I said, you see a leader like KD, man. Uh, not saying Bron is not a leader, but you, look you, at what KD doing. Listen. Like Mike KD out here, <laughs> KD out here saying that he blamed himself for the situation of why they season like that. I haven't heard LeBron say he blamed himself yet. So until he do that, then we all be safe. Hey, but hey, but hold on, bro. I don't know basketball. I don't think Bron was to blame to some degree. That was nah. I'm with King James. Even Lamont knows basketball. I know, but I'm going to sports broadcast. None of y'all are though. Hold on. Let me respond a little bit. Sweet ass boy. You gotta tell us about it. Let me let me respond. Hold on. Hold on. Tom. Tom. Let me respond this guy in the chat. Let me respond this guy in the chat. Let me respond this guy in the chat. The reason why we can't blame. The reason why we can't blame. Here's why we can't blame. Here's why we can't blame. You can't blame. We can't blame Frank Vogel because Frank Vogel is is a defensive coach. His mindset is one way. If you were going to bring in guys that don't fit his mindset, you should have not brought. You should have let him go. Jenny Bus should have got rid of him. She's number one. Point point period. It should have hired Jay Kidd now, and fired like, Frank Vogel. Now, you can't like, blame a guy. You can't. You can't make a, a horse drink water. You can't do that. You can't teach a dog. Uh, you, you can't teach a dog new tricks, bro. You can't do that. You can't teach a guy this. You can't teach Robin how to score. It's not. It's not gonna work. If mm -hmm. Michael Jordan tried to teach Robin how to score, he still couldn't do it. It's not. It's not. It's not in his element, bro. All he knows is defense, rebound. That's my game, bro. Y'all trying to blame this man. I'm not saying everybody, but y'all know who you are. Y'all want to blame Frank Vogel, a guy that's one, his mindset is one way. So why would you bring that man back? Why would you bring him back if you're going to trade all your defenders away? Yeah. Make that make sense. And, and Mike, I was going to touch on that part. I was going to say, no, Jeannie Buss is, in terms of the organization as a whole, she's Here the biggest culprit. Her cat too. Now, she's the biggest culprit as an as a oh, entire yeah, organization. Okay. All right, well. Bro, we talked about this couple days ago. Yeah, not you, her, this dude, Herm, whatever his name is, and then of course, Mike. 
KDL's and JDL. Y'all hear what y'all want to hear. That's the problem with y'all. Y'all don't understand. Yo, uh, so salute everybody. Um, uh, I just, just want to say a few points. Um, Robin did average. Rob, Robin was averaging twenty plus points in college. The reason what did he average in the NBA? I'm. I was letting about the NBA. We're talking about the NBA. We're talking about the NBA, sir. Why you cut me off? We're talking about the NBA. Let me keep going in. Let me keep going in. Let me keep going in. What did Pepe have in college? <laughs> Tell me that. What did he have in college? Was he a, was he a score in college? Actually, I'm not sure. Yeah, uh huh. Yeah, yeah. I can do the I'm same rhetorical sure. ass shit you're doing, dog. Real talk. So, I can so do the same rhetorical ass shit you're doing. So, the, so same, the same shit you just did, I can do the same shit. Is Carolyn going to get the same Hey, you, want know, you want to know his average? Go, Mike. Uh-huh. Or you want, want, me, want me finish? You can't, you, bro. We're not blaming mm-hmm. Frank Vogel, bro. Frank Vogel. Yo, go, Mike. Let him finish, bro. Let him finish, bro. I don't want to hear you blame Frank Vogel. I don't know. Everybody deserves blame. You're not blaming. You're not gonna blame my guy. Frank Vogel's mo is defense. Go, Mike. How you know, bro? Didn't say anything. What? How you know, bro? So wait, so wait. Let me ask you this. So you saying how many points did Dennis Rodman average in his career? 13 Man. points, I believe. And the NBA, and the NBA every 13 nah, points. It wasn't no 13 points. I think it was like, what, eight, eight, seven, or eight? I don't he give like, a damn, Ryan. He, he, he averaged well, 13 points. I'm doing my shit, man. I'm doing just throwing stuff out there, man. I don't know. Yo, yo, guys, guys. Let Sterling, let Sterling go Chicago. because he don't got no basketball takes, so let's just entertain ourselves. Y'all trying go to blame Frank Vogel? How you going to blame Frank Vogel? Hey, go Mike. Let Sterling get his shit off right quick, then then go in. Yeah, bro. Then just go in. I'm fired up on these. I know. I know you. I know you. Okay, go ahead. I'm going to get my pen. Shit. Okay, so once again, uh, uh, regards to the current topic, is the obvious biggest blame is the Lakers front office. I don't see. Thank you. Why. That's what I'm saying. I don't see why. No, Texas. Even, I don't see even why. I'm not talking about even debatable. Be honest with you. Like, oh well. It, sure. It is what it is. Like to be honest with you, after those couple years after Jerry West left, every single front office decision the Lakers have made without Magic Johnson has been mediocre. That's fact. Yeah. Um. Out of the six years, the six years from 2016 to to 2020, the Lakers had a total of five, no, four lottery picks. And those four lottery picks, they chose literally like the fourth or fifth best nigga in their draft class. They didn't pick no Trey Young. They didn't pick no Donovan Mitchell. They didn't pick no Jason Tatum. They didn't pick none of these. They didn't pick no John ja Morant. They didn't pick none of these guys. They didn't pick none of these guys. They didn't have 10 picks to Zion. They didn't pick oh, yeah. none of these guys that are legit franchise players. But while I'm here on different platforms, it's like a lot of – it seems like a lot of Lakers fans in general is appear ungrateful. Like I know a lot of people that's fans of other franchises that have – They are a study. That have zero chips. And yet they they will kill for just to have one chip. So this, this narrative that – that the Lakers trade away their quote-unquote future – for a championship, for a championship. And, the, and to get back to the original point, the reason why <clears throat> the Lakers front office are the biggest reasons why the, um, the Lakers didn't make the playoffs this year is because, number one, they didn't hire the right coach from, from, exactly. from a couple of years ago. Number two, Jesus. y'all forget, y'all forget, um, really after, really, um, really, really the, the summer before the AD trade, the Lakers were already in the hold financially. So even um, because they talked about this at ESPN right after Matt Jones said it, even if the Lakers wanted DeMar DeRozan, they couldn't get DeMar DeRozan. Number one, he did say he would take a pay cut, but he would not make it. He would not accept the mid-level exception. He said that himself. Number two, in order for him to get 20 mil, which he was requesting in the free, free agency, his agent said that, San Antonio will have to agree to do a sign and trade. Can anybody who's a Lakers fan on the panel tell me the last time the Lakers did a, a trade with the Spurs? All right. they can't last leave. thing, last thing, last thing. Even, even like I said, the um, I forgot this guy's name, but um, he's a 
He's one of the beat writers for the Lakers. He is, he broke the whole shit down. Cause even if DeMar DeRozan wanted to go to the Lakers, the Lakers would not have been able to afford him. Now the Buddy Hill shit, that's different. Be honest with you. To be honest with you. Cause I started, they could have started, started, started. I hate to, I hate to interrupt right quick though, but he he could have because he was willing to take. You forget about that interview DeRozan had on the no, train. He, no, no, no. he said, he said, he, he would have took nine no, million. Said, Y'all no, just would have hit the hard cap. The Lakers would have hit the hard I, I, cap. They would have signed. I watch everything. So today, before I got the stand, he you said verbatim he has no problem taking a pay cut, but he would not accept the mid level exception. Him and his agent said that. Like I said before, he was looking around. 18 to 20 mil. That was his bottom. While I'm, telling you, while I'm telling you, and I'm repeating to you what the beat writer said, and I'm going to get the link in, uh, for y'all in like a few minutes. Another one. He said, even the Lakers wanted to get DeMar DeRozan. <laughs> the only way they could have got DeMar DeRozan if the Spurs agreed to a sign and trade. And you and I, everyone on this panel knows that he's not the So the reason why the Lakers. You are fake news. The reason why the Lakers did not get the playoffs. Fake news. The real reason why is the fake the news. Three. Number one is front it's office fake decisions. News. One up. Number one is front office decisions. Number two is health, and number three is defense. They traded raw pulling and trade away all they can do. Besides AD, all of them. Uh, so that's the reason why. That's what I was saying, front office. And then here's here's another thing too. And y'all need to understand no matter what franchise, whatever, your front office not competent. Your front office are competent, you ain't winning shit. Let me let me let me address this. Let me address this. Go ahead and cry. Nobody can hear you. Bro, okay, no one can hear you. You're talking after turn, bro. You can't hear you. No, they were telling no, you ain't clear, go, Mike. Nobody can hear you. You going in and out, go, Mike. You're in a wind tunnel, bro. Yeah. Bobby drinking Colby milk. But that's what I was saying. It started with the front office. I mean, everybody deserves some kind of blame. It, it, no matter how little or how much. I mean, come on. How much? And, 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 come on. I all love the front office, though. Exactly. That's what I was saying, y'all. It's the front office. Yes, we can hear you. Oh, okay, so look, here's what I'm saying. The front office is half the issue, but the other half goes to AD, bro. AD, ever since, as a matter of fact, got, now I, I know he got hurt in 2020. I know he got hurt in 2020. I understand that, but he played through that. But I'm talking about since 2020, AD has not been the same. Like, after that finals, because they have to rush back and play again, it's like AD has not been the same the last what couple of years. He's fallen off a cliff because because AD supposed to be he supposed to take over, take the keys, and, and be that top dog and all this shit. But AD has, his, his health is very in question. He cannot stay healthy. He can't stay on the court. So I can't I can't put it all on LeBron. I do put it on Russ and AD with the front office. So that's what my, that's what the blame goes for me. Russ, AD, and the front office. Russ, Mike. the way he played, Mike. nobody thought, well, I thought he was, but y'all did it. Russ, Russ was not a good pickup. They thought he was. Uh, I thought that uh, AD, AD, bro, if he can't stay healthy, you got to think about trading him. You got to think about that because, okay. yeah, yeah, it looks bad. It looks bad. Now, I know a lot of Lakers fans say don't trade him, but, bro, we trade a lot of pieces to get AD. And if he can't stay healthy, you got to find something for him. That's what you said. That's what you said. Hey, go, Mike. Hey, go, Mike. Everybody, everybody, everybody thought I was a hater when I called it before the season started. Wait. Once they got rid of it, niggas not going to make it. Can I add one thing? Hold on. Can I add one thing? Can I add one thing? Can I add one thing? That was a hater. Wait, wait, can I add this? Because I was on Mike's thing. This is when I first um, no, I was notified of Mike's channel. I said, Russ, me and Lamont had a back and forth back in October about it. I said, Russ is going to be egregious for this uh, mm-hmm. entire team. But like, like Mike said, the biggest culprits on the floor collectively is the team. But, yeah, I mean, if AD's healthy for even 50%, 70% of the games, they're in the playoffs. And then, of course, Russ, is, we know what he is. And I think LeBron has held onto the ball ex- extensively and, and just took up some bad shots. Some of it is on the coach. But then front office, like y'all know this, uh, and lastly, Jeannie Buss, 
she did everything imaginable wrong this season from the standpoint of the decision making and so did Palinka. You know, you canceled the Wall Woods deal. I mean, you right. should look, look, hold on. Okay, you you got rid of all LeBron's talent in, in terms of defense. LeBron probably did want some of that to happen, to be honest, but um, it starts in the front office and then it goes down because she's listened to many people, as we all know. It's just a lot of things. She's done everything wrong this year that you can do in that position as an owner, from decision making to just being ambivalent with her decisions and everything. I mean, she's taking away this and that. I'm not going into details because there's too many people on here, but yeah. But. Okay, so when we play the blame game, well, what are we going to do? Like, because in my opinion, I mean, in my opinion, LeBron deserves 60% of the blame. If we're going to take yeah. it in the pie chart out of 100, LeBron, LeBron deserves 60. I'm going to give AD 20. How single player, how does single player responsible for the whole franchise? Because he made roster moves and everything. A lot of stuff that happened. It's a fact. It's a fact. It's a fact. It's a fact. Why the Here's the facts. LeBron, since he's been to Lakers publicly. It is. We know publicly LeBron made five requests since he's been to Lakers. Five. And the Lakers only honored two of them. So I don't understand this whole narrative of, oh, he wa- he did want Westbrook. He did bounce for Westbrook. That's all on him. But this narrative like, like well, LeBron takes goals, that's not true. That's, that's definitely not true. No, no, no. But, but the problem is, listen, the problem is this, bro. Westbrook's basketball IQ is fucking up a lot of shit when he plays, even though he ain't missed the game. And then – AD is another guy that LeBron wanted to come over there, and they traded all of that young talent away for him, and he can't consistently stay and they want a chip. And that's on LeBron. They want a chip because of the AD trade. Okay, that's fine. We know that, bro. But how many years have you been since then? Hold on. This young talent that you speak of, you're talking about Julius Randle, who we all know is a fraud. Brandon Ingram made one offer. Man, you read the basis of LeBron fans. And Lonzo Paul, who can't even finish the season since he left the Lakers. So what are you talking about? Bro? I never said that they were superstars or nothing, but I said you traded away all the young talent. That you just frauds. Listen, they listen, listen. I understand how they. I understand how they look one now. Time, please, one time. I understand how they look on the teams that they're on they now. What I'm saying is, what I'm saying is this. I'm talking about the 2020 team, Kuzma, KCP, Caruso, those guys, all good players. Where are they at right now? Don't tell me they ain't. What Kuzma doing? He made an all star game? They, no, they, no, he didn't. They felt their role perfectly. They felt their role okay, perfectly. My, my point is this, brother. My point is this. Yeah. ED and Westbrook are clearly there because of LeBron. Yes or no? And the front office. No, no, yeah. no, 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 They didn't come to the fucking Lakers for the front office. They don't play with the front office. They AD play with LeBron. AD said it himself. He came to the Lakers to work to look forward. He came to the Lakers looking forward to work with both Magic and LeBron. At the time, Magic was front office member. So what are you talking about? Okay, but guess what? Magic ain't fucking there no more. What are you talking exactly. about? Exactly. What we're saying at that time, though, in that era when, when it transpired. Okay, but that's fine. But what I'm saying is now we have an injury history since the championship. And it's becoming a fucking indictment and a negative on this team. The LeBron is too like fucking that. old to be carrying all the fucking weight. Period. But see, hold on. Everybody's a genius. Hold on, man. Stop yelling, bro. Everybody's a genius after the fact. But what I'm saying is we didn't know Aid. Listen, I'm just going to say this. I knew Russ was going to be a terrible situation. And all well, I had knew. Said, oh, he, oh, Go, he, Mike, and tell you. I oh, called no. this shit. Wait a minute. Oh, oh, I called it too. Me and my mom got it. Here's one you, 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 you don't know, uh, Texas. I watched the Pelicans play for years. AD been what? injury prone since since the Pelicans, bro. He wasn't even, a matter of fact, a matter of fact, AD was not the man. Texas, I called. What made this what make it bad? I called this shit when the trade when they first traded for AD. If we're, the Lakers, if we're being honest, I called on, I called on being, August. If we're being honest right yeah, now, yeah. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If we're being yeah, honest right now, her. what is what is AD? Hold on, bro. What is AD without Rondo and fucking Demar- Dem- uh, Demar- Demarcus Cousins, Drew Holiday, and Solomon Hill? Yeah. What does any player without their yeah, role yeah. players, yeah. Mike? 
Kobe those niggas made. Those niggas made. Yeah, the Pelicans under tree with that Ross. They on their tree with that Ross. Let me let me add on to the play. Hold on, hold on, hold on. When AD play with the Pelicans, AD is not shit without big man and wing defenders. You saw it on the Pelicans, and you saw it in twenty twenty. Bro, stop just talking. Shut your kid ass up. You're too small. You're too small, nigga. Shut your kid ass down. You're too small, nigga. Shut your bitch ass down. I'm imagining the backstage. I'm imagining the backstage because I'm talking right now. Demarcus Cousins ain't shit without wings and big man. You saw it in 2020. Wings, big man. You saw it in uh, Pelicans. Wings, big man. If you take away the wings and the big man from AD, he's not going to be healthy. That's facts. And Mike. And a and point guard that's right. thinking someone shoot the basketball. Exactly. And a point guard that can set up, set him up and probe the lane and everything. Yeah, and then also because uh, what was he going to say? Um, yeah, no, he, he Rondo and those guys were instrumental because yeah, AD. Now we see he needs a guy that can kind of set him up to to a degree um, to be as effective as he as he has been in that championship run. But um, no, I mean I was the main one that said at the beginning of the season. Yeah, we all knew Russ is going to be bad. I mean it's just a, it's just the issues are pretty are pretty obvious and conspicuous. I mean they have. Injury problems, you know, dumb players like Russ uh, not allocating themselves to playing defense. That's pretty much what it is. Those are the issues on the court. And then, of course, they are old. So, that yeah, they're going to have a bad team. I thought this team could go 45 wins, but I didn't think it was going to get this bad, I'll be honest. I knew Russ was going to be a problem. I said that you on really August thought, the 6th. You really thought this, you really thought this old-ass team was going to win 40-some games? That's funny. A lot of people actually well, did. I mean, yeah, 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 I, AD, like, I didn't think AD was going to be hurt yeah. like this. That's what I'm saying. I knew he was going to be. Gonna be here's how. If AD played 60 games, oh, Jesus. Jesus. Even, even with Russell being trash, thank y'all you. Make I knew play. he thank was going to be. Here's what, here's what I'm saying to you, uh, Sturdy. I knew he was going to be hurt. When Frank Vogel came out and said he's imposing and he, he's stronger than that, I knew for a fact that was Cap. But I Mike knew Cap. that was Cap because because AD came out of shape. Hold on. AD came in the season out of shape. Not just last year. No, last year was the same shit when he came in and see the out of shape. Because remember, he tried to do that jab step move against Jokic, and he and he, uh, he missed up his calf. So I'm just saying, the last two yeah. seasons he's come in out of shape. So so, I'm, so so here's what I'm saying to you: when 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 Frank said he's imposing, he's this, he's that. I'm like, I know a goddamn well you're at the line. Ain't he gonna be coming here out of shape? All Good, that right? shit. I knew that shit. Go ahead, but, but Mike, okay, wait. Go ahead, humble. Go ahead, humble. I talk to you. Hey, look, Herm said it. I said it. Go, Mike. I said, look, bro, from the get go, that Westbrook trade, it was, it's not going to work, bro. You got two slashing playmakers on your I team. I said it too. We all said. And Wayne, Wayne, I said, said, who, well, who that's, who that's not the case. Okay. Wayne, Wayne the out, of clip too. not the case, bro. Like, because last time I checked, Dwayne Wade says, it, it, it is the place. It is the place. It is the place. He chips with him. Yes, it is, so, bro. It is That's not place. how's the play style when he hey, looks at the Dwayne Dwayne Wade is way better than Russ. And he, no, 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 no. Dwayne said, Wade way better than Russ. Don't compare Wade. Don't compare Wade to Russ. Wade play defense. Wade play defense. Russ plays defense. You don't watch games go much. No, no, no. Don't compare Wade to Russ. 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 Don't compare Wade to the dude just said you can't have two slashing playmakers on the fucking same team. But well, that's cap. That's little cap. Who's comparing Wade to Russ, man? That's not Anthony. That's not Anthony. That's not Anthony. You got Echo. You got Echo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 When have you, when have you ever seen Dwayne Wayne, Wayne, Wayne be in a fucking game and get mad and get a rebound? Right James, 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 that that with that false ass statement when you say you can't win with two slashing playmakers, like that's that's. Russ is a slashing fucking dude. He's a slashing athletic guy. He ain't no fucking playmaker because he was making yeah, fucking plays. The team would be in better position. You are fake news. You are fake. How the fuck you got a playmaker? He ain't no fucking playmaker. 
How you stop comparing? Please stop comparing, comparing ways to Charles. Please, you got a basketball, basketball IQ. You got to have basketball IQ to be a fucking I'm, playmaker. I'm, I'm begging you. I'm begging you right now. I'm begging you, Sturdy. Please stop comparing weight to Russ. Please, please, man. So y'all see something that's like Russ can't pass. Sturdy, Sturdy, please, bro. I'm begging, bro. I'm begging you right now, bro. Please. Are you listening, Go Mike? Please, 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 man. I'm Sturdy, come on, bro. Oh, so for the sixth time, I'm not comparing those players. So, I'm D Way has IQ though. D Way, D Way don't ride the yellow bus like Wade, like, like like Russ does. Russ is stupid. You are fake news. Okay. Wade, well, why, let me tell you why it's a bad. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna tell you why it's a bad comparison. I did not compare Wade, take, Wade, take, hold on, bro. I'm gonna give you a whole list of why it's not why, why it's not good did to I put them two. You can't put them in the same. You did can't I even. Hold on. You can't even put them in the same sentence, bro. I'm gonna did tell I you why. Them. Uh, hold on, bro. I'm going to talk. Whether you, whether you want me to say something or you don't, I'm going to speak whether you want me to or not. Either way, I'm going to say something. Emotional. D-Way, right? Hey, hey, hold, on, hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. D-Way. D-Way, D-Way is a way better defender. That's first and foremost. Secondly, D-Way's, D-Way's IQ. D-Way's IQ and fundamentals is way better than us. Another thing. Another thing. D-Way's a killer. The way to kill it in the right way. The way gonna kill you the right way. He not gonna he not gonna think killing you is run up and down the court and all that other bullshit. The way knows how to poke the lane, slow the game down. Way 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 has more than one gear. Way can slow down. He can speed up. He can go medium. So putting those two guys in the same sentence should not even be. That's not. Even, it shouldn't even be in the same sentence, bro. I literally didn't even do that. Y'all okay, so did. bring me another bring me another case scenario. Use somebody else to bring up to Russ. Wait, but all this boils down to no, is you can't use Wade. No you can't use Wade. You can't use Wade, bro. I'll never do that in the first place. You can't use Wade, bro. You can't, I did you not use Wade. Wade. Once again, go, Mike. I'm you not can't use him. Player, you bro. can't use him. You still I'm not can't use him. No players, nigga. What the I fuck didn't say. I didn't say compare. I said use. I said use. You can't use Wade. You can't, bro. Once again, nigga. I'm not comparing Russ to any player. I didn't say. I didn't say compare. I said use. You can't use Wade. That's the same, bro. It's the yeah, same that's, that's shit. A comparison. I'm you not comparing can't nothing. Use, you can't use Wade, bro. Mike, so much. How many times I say this shit? Whoa. I'm not comparing no players. You can't use Wade, bro. Right, man, I'm, <laughs> how many times y'all gonna keep saying that? This shit, I don't know, bro. You can't use Wade, bro. Hold on, Mike, Mike, Mike. Hold on, no, no, Mike, Mike. Hold on, listen, bro. Hold on, Mike. There's two things, too. Nigga. No, 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 no. <laughs> Russ, hold on. Russ, Russ is like, like Russ was playmaking on bad teams, but it's just it, it boils down to this. He's his his play is not conducive to winning culture. And then also, lastly, y'all humble, bro. It didn't take a genius to understand that Russ was not going to be a good fit. You're saying me, you, Hermie. Okay, everybody, anybody who knows anything of the sport knows Russ is not a good fit. The sports a, world said that shit. It's, it's exactly, sturdy, so sturdy, wrong, exactly. Wrong. That's what I'm saying, bro. That's what I'm saying. We all I did that. I didn't, I didn't know you back last off. Last off season, right? I said majority of the sports yeah. world. I'm, 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 I'm agreeing with you, sturdy. I'm saying, yeah, most people who know some basketball and knows. Also, they had better shooters. Older player. They also had better. Not only, not only is way better than Russ, but on the Heat team, they have way better. Wade, go, Mike. Why are you comparing Wade? Man, why are you comparing them two niggas, man? Why are you comparing I, here's, what I'm, here's what I'm saying. Here's what I'm saying. Yeah. Here's, here's what I'm saying. If everybody yeah. listen for a second, yeah. y'all copy yeah. where I'm going. Now, go look, off a clip. Go off a clip. What, what if what if the Lakers had knocked down shooters? Russ oh, yeah. Russ would have been a great fit. A better player, yes, sir. He, he yeah. would have been a great fit. So would LeBron. He would have been looking like LeBron. Well, he, he he obviously did look like LeBron to me. He did because look at his look at his stats, just his stat, his in, individual stats. AD he was hurt. We all know about AD, but uh, Russ he obviously would have been looking like Russ if they had knocked down shooters. So if they did run it back, if they did run it back, and if they did construct a uh, roster. The way it should be constructed with shooters, would y'all be mad at that? And, yeah, you don't know. No. And then also another thing, because this team has not had really good shooters even the year before. Like uh, I don't know, but but here's the thing that I'm gonna say about this though. When OKC, right? When he when he was, um, they had some decent shooters, but they weren't like lights out, which which is kind of baffling because which that is why I say this. Bro. Were... Well, no, this is this is why I say this. It just it's just, it's just simple. Russ is just not conducive to. Winning now, he can go to the Rockets and he'll play phenomenal, but then he won't win anything. D Wade, just- 
This is why this is why I got mad when 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 uh when I when I heard Sturdy bring up uh Wade and Russ in the same sentence. D Wade won the chip without LeBron. This, this man won the chip by his damn self. This man had this man had Shaq averaging 13 points and won a championship. What did I thought Russ do he by, won himself? by himself? How many how many chip how many chips Russ got? None, not one, zero, none. Russ, Russ can't touch D Wade, bro. Hold on, you discredit Wade I mean, right now. It's really simple. It comes down to they went against each other in the finals. Who set up their power? Who set up their small forward to put in put them in better position to win the games? Clearly, was D Wade. Clearly, yeah, wait. Even though I discredit hey, 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 Cuba, even though I discredit that championship, bro, I still got to give Wade credit for, for carrying his team to the what? finals. When has, when has, hold on, bro, hold on, bro, forget about championship. When has Russ carried the team to the finals by himself? I wait. Oh, hold up, Mike, Mike. You're the same guys that they cheated, Mike. Wade. When he got, hold on, bro, hold on, bro. Can Cuba I ask you a question, question, Mike? Well, here's what, I'm, here's what I'm saying. I'm saying real quick, Jay, I'm going to toss it right back. If you watch uh, 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 Russ, when Russ made his first finals, he had, oh, he had a – he had a scoring champion. Oh, oh no, bro. Let me just say this real quick. I got, I got to talk about the games. When Russ made the finals, he had a scoring champion in Kevin Durant. You got a Serge Ibaka that's known for defense. You got Nick Collins. You got all the, all the niggas on your team that play at elite, elite level. When Wade uh, made, made, made his first finals, right, in 06, I believe, he had an agent, uh, Shaq, that averaged 13 points a game. So, so I give Wade a lot of respect, even though, even though that chip, I, I believe, was fraudulent. I still give him respect. Go ahead, James. No, I, I, <laughs> when, when, when when they when you said when they said that you believe that that was fraudulent, I just want to ask you why. D Wade, okay, so, okay, so look, let me. Add, yeah, it was all exactly the free throws, That's and not just the. It. Not just the free throws; they also suspended Stackhouse with the free throws. It, like, for, for example, if they if they if they had suspended Stackhouse and they didn't give way all them goddamn free throws, I'd have been just fine. But 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 I feel like they gave him way too many. Okay, look, name me a player in NBA history to shoot that many free throws in the finals. Yeah, no one. Nobody. Even even MJ. MJ is known for what getting free throws, and even he ain't done that. MJ ain't do it. Kobe ain't do it. Nobody. I, I've never seen anybody do that. How do you? I, how do y'all say? How do y'all? How do y'all? How do y'all say? How do, how do you say it's not fraudulent? Uh, nobody can name you a, a player. Nobody said it wasn't fraudulent, Mike. Nobody said no, it no, wasn't. no, 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 no. I'm just, I'm just putting it out there because pe- people actually believe that I'm saying some bullshit. If you watch those series, bro. Texas, speak for yourself, bro. I'm not. I'm not talking to you, bro. I'm just letting people know, bro. When you watch that series, bro, you can't show me nobody else in history who, who's playing that shit, dog. Real talk. Guys, gotta go on mute for that shit, dog. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get flagged for this shit. I keep playing music in the back, bro. Go on mute for that whole ass shit. Real talk. Now back to what I'm saying, bro. If you watch, if you watch, right. That 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 final, bro. Name me a pl- person, bro. bro I'm, I'm begging anybody to name me. Anybody think I'm Kevin, bro? Name me a player who shoots that many free throws in NBA Finals. Anybody? You talking about makes or attempts? I'm talking about mates. No, 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 no. Hold on, no, 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 oh, no, 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 no. Uh-uh. I'm talking about no, no, no. Uh, he, no, no. Here's the thing. No. Hold on, bro. Hold on, Texas. 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 I'm pretty sure Shaq Texas. About I'm talking Texas. Texas. I'm talking to whom? Who am I talking to, Texas? I don't this know. Is why I get, this is why I get this is why I get pissed off with niggas. This is why this is why I get mad with niggas. This is why. Now, if you put it, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do I have to put everybody out? Do I have to put do I have to put everybody out so that I can talk to talk to uh, Cuba 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 to go one on one? Because all the double team shit, bro. I don't like that shit, bro. If I if I have to put everybody out and talk to Cuba, bro, they was doing that, bro. They was doing it, bro. Go on me for that shit, dog. Real talk. They were doing that shit. Real talk. Now, Cuba, I might have to put everybody out and talk to you one on one because I don't like when guys butting in and throwing in shit. Don't throw in salt on my shit, nigga. Real talk. <clears throat> now, you got one of us, whoever cut me off, bro, you in the backstage. Dead ass. I don't give a fuck no more. You in the backstage. I try to be nice. I try to show Cuba I can keep, keep guys on the panel, but fuck all that shit. Next person cut me off, you in the backstage. I don't give a damn. 
Now, back to Cuba. Cuba, what I'm saying is, bro, if they're a, if they're a player, right? You still there, Cuba? Yeah, what's up? If they're a player that gets fouled intentionally, I don't count that. That that don't gotcha. count. All right. I'm not counting. I, I just, I just need like, to clarify. I just need to know because yeah, I just asked. Yeah, 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 that, yeah that, 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 that that don't count. I'm talking about when you look at when you look at Larry Bird, you look at MJ, you look at Kobe, you look at Steph Curry. If you go down the line, if you hey hey Cuba, name me a guy of those. Like for example, even Kevin Durant, right? KD is known. For getting free throws, KD, Harden, guys like that. You really can't find no, 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 no. I don't count Shaq because he gets fouled intentionally. Intentionally, those guys don't count. I smell a guy. Look, LeBron James, as big as he is, he don't shoot that many free. He's never shot twenty free throws like that, back to back to back. Nobody. Yeah. MJ is known for getting free throws, right? Everybody say MJ get blown on, he get fouled, right? Yeah. He never shot that many free throws. Never. Nobody has. Magic has it. Larry Bird has it. I mean, come on, bro. That was asinine. Even Dirk Nowinski, bro, didn't get that. Must come on, bro. Luka Doncic is known for getting free throws, right? When did he ever shot that many free throws? Never. Harden. Even Harden, bro. As many free throws he shoot. Come on, y'all. Keep well, it. Yeah, you would think it'd be hard until well, now nah, he, he hadn't been back in the finals. Never mind. No, no, it's it's not even just finals. It, it's also playoffs. N- name me a person in the playoffs. To shoot that many free throws all back to back, it ain't possible. It don't make no sense, though. <laughs> yeah, tackle point. He ain't get a lot of free throw attempts. Hey, I, I like how that nigga's thirty. Yeah, who getting a damn line up in the stream, dog? Thirty came in here. He yeah, he true. Bullshit. He said that. Um, Dennis Rodman added 20 points per game. But chill out, bro. That got to be Mingle Jester. That ain't Mingle Jester, bro. I can see, bro, I can see who mute, bro. So it is. Whenever they come off mute, they're going to they're gonna be exposed, bro. Hey, 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 it's 30 emotional, bro. Once I started baking his ass, what do you, what do, you do? He ran. He ran up out of here. Am I lying humble? He ran. Right. He tried to compare Wade. He said he trying to say because because uh LeBron played with Wade in that work, that Russia do the same thing. I can play the tape back. Hey, humble. When you get a chance, play that tape back, bro. You think, you think bro, this man was comparing a hey, Cuba. Me and Humble not lying, bro. He was comparing Wade to fucking Russ. He said because he, he played with Russ yeah, with Wade. I, this, this Russ what I can said. Work. I said, bro, I said, look. Now having LeBron and, and Russell on the same on the starting line, I said that's two slashing playmakers, bro. You know what I'm saying? What what did you gain from that? He was like, Well, Dwayne Wade and is like is like uh Westbrook, you can say the same thing for, for what D Wade. I said D Wade ain't even a playmaker though, bro. He can slash D Wade's a better player but, overall. But once, D Wade's a way better a, he played with alongside D Wade. D Wade became more of a you know a volume shooter though. He weighs way better. Here, here, hold on, hold on, humble. You're leaving out a lot of context. You're leaving out a lot of context. D Wade got a D Wade. D Wade got a way higher IQ than Russ. He's a he way has, better. He's a way cool. better defender than Russ. He's a way better. Uh, he's a way better IQ. Like, like he knows. He knows how to slash for the cup. And D Wade don't miss layups like 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 Russ do. D Wade. D Wade. D Wade playing with LeBron. Is a way better asset than Russ, even right now. Remember how Wade came to Cleveland? Mm-hmm. That was a great asset. Wade Wade knows how to play with LeBron. Russ don't. Wade Wade has chemistry. Wade has chemistry playing with uh LeBron. Russ don't. Yeah. Um, Wade Wade and LeBron go. Wade and LeBron no no. Hold on. Wade and LeBron hang out in every off season. You know that shit. Yeah, they every brother. off they, season they, they hang friends. out. They're their best friends. Yeah. They they know they know each other. And matter of fact, those guys practice. Those guys even practice with each other and open runs, all that shit. When do you see Russ with, play, playing with LeBron even outside of uh, uh, NBA? Never. But you know, Russ not Russ not like that. Russ is, yeah. Russ is IQ. If you compare Russ and Wade's IQ, if if you compare the two, is it close, Texas? It's not close. Nah. And you know what else? Wade is Wade to me. Like a top, 
Wade Wade's like a top five uh, slash and shooting guard in terms of you know without the ball going to Wade the rim. Knows how to, Wade yes. knows how to slash. Wade knows how to slash and when to slash. Russ yeah. don't. Here's the difference. Russ 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 always slash when LeBron don't need him to. For example, when LeBron mm-hmm. got the when LeBron got the ball in the, in the paint and the paint's clogged. Russ try to cut through there and bring defenders to the – no, no, no. If LeBron got the ball on a, on the island, right, Wade's not going to cut through. Wade's going to wait until LeBron, LeBron get double teamed. Then he's going to cut to the rim. Russ, what Russ does, and LeBron being guarded that one-on-one, what, what does Russ do? He cuts through and brings his man to, to, to LeBron. That's not that's not basketball. Yeah, Wade was so good at that uh, back, back door dunk, you know, off, you know, when the guy comes up, he's – yep. Dunk. That's what he was so good at. Wade, hey, Wade only cuts. Am I am I lying, y'all? He could have passed. Taker? Wade, Wade only cuts to the rim. Wade, Wade only cuts when. Hey, hey, hey humble. Wade, Wade only cuts when what? When LeBron get double, that's when he cut. Mm-hmm. That's when he cuts to the rim. He only cuts yeah, when, the, when LeBron get double. Russ cuts through the lane when LeBron being guarded one on one. It's not basketball. Why are you cutting hey, through on a one one two? I want to make a, a statement to Sturdy. He he's supposed to be the Mr. the numbers guy of the whole little you know basketball community on YouTube. You said that Dennis Robin averaged twenty points per game, bro. No, he said in college, bro. Oh, okay. I, no, I'm just yeah, no. Nah, I, 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 I guess I'm good, I'm, good at, yeah, I'm good at listening. Yeah, I, yeah, he said college. I wasn't talking about college though, humble. That's what he said, though. Why? No, 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 no. Here's what I'm saying. I was talking about the NBA. So why are you bringing up college and I'm talking about the NBA? Yes, yeah, hey, I don't. think he did say something about the college, or whatever. But we weren't talking. He did. About he college. did. We were talking about the NBA. Why do? Why do guys always bring up college when we're talking about the NBA? That's a week, bro. Well, I know Mike. No, Mike. Hold on, Mike. I'm not going to speak for him, but I think he was using that to uh, because it was in reference to what you guys were saying. He wasn't just saying it just because. Yeah, I mean, y'all got. Yeah, it was in they reference to what y'all. Were he didn't get drafted. He didn't get drafted because he was. He didn't get drafted because he averaged twenty. He yeah, got and, drafted and because of his defense. Thirty was saying. Oh, that if you ask, if you ask the head coach, this excuse for LeBron James. That's hey, hey, let, let me just say this: If you ask the no head coach, right, hold on, bro, hold on, bro. Hum, humble. The reason why he got drafted to the NBA is not because of his, his uh, twenty points. It's because of his defense. He got drafted That's because of his heart and his effort and his hustle defensively. Yeah. Yeah, Mike. Yeah, no, no, you're right. No, no, I'm saying y'all gotta understand. You know, it had nothing to do with LeBron at all. And if y'all, if y'all go back and listen, because I, I caught, I knew what he was talking about. It was in response to a, a different part of the argument. Nothing to do with LeBron. He was. He, he got somebody, drafted. Uh, That's not. Hold on, hold on, bro. I watched documentaries. I watched. The, I watched all the documentaries of uh of uh, of uh, Dennis Rodman. He got drafted because of his defense. We didn't say That's he facts. did not. My, Look it Mike, up. Mike, no one see. Hold on, Mike. Can I say one thing, bro? You argue shit that nobody's even going against you about. You got, you don't even listen. But that's what I'm saying. Though. Why we? What? Why? The, I, that's what I'm saying. Thirty brought up offense, but that makes no yeah. sense because he didn't get drafted because of no offense. He got drafted because he's known as a, as a defender in the Detroit okay. Pistons. The Detroit Pistons are all about what defense. The Pistons yeah. back in the day, all they cared about was defense. So yeah, when they when they saw Dennis Rodman, that's why they picked him up. No, but Mike, no, no. I'm saying no, no. You everything you're saying is is factual. What I'm saying is no. It was he was responding to a comment that was made about transitioning. Uh, you got to go back and listen to it. You then it'll be more clear because I mean he wasn't making an argument, Mike, that he got drafted because he was a twenty plus point per game scorer. That's not what he was saying. People don't listen. But, go, but whatever. You done, Mister? Hold on. People just don't listen, bro. That's the problem in the world. I mean, that, he wasn't arguing that. He was just – somebody made a separate comment, and he just uh, said, okay, this is what he did. Okay. I'm glad you brought eight, eight changes. I'm glad you broke that down, man, because I was confused for a minute. You just got to listen. That's it. Everybody being La La Land. No, Mike being La La Land. Uh, I, I know. I know. I know. Because, like, these, these guys thought that I was trying to say, oh, this guy deserves the blame. I just said, everybody deserves some kind of a blame. I mean, because, I mean, I hold LeBron accountable because, I mean, yeah, for the, some of the personnel. But we also got to look at Jeannie Buss for her decline in the Woods and Wall deal to Mike's point. If Woods and Wall were here, even the Elder and other people who know basketball, they'll say the same thing. AD plays with his best when he got another tower next to him. And then Wall is a much better playmaker than Russ. I mean, we hadn't seen him play in forever, but he's a better shooter. Better, de- better defender, better pro- probe in the lane, um, smarter player, better ball handler, better passer. I mean, but Jeannie Buss declined that. Y'all know Jeannie Buss was the reason because LeBron did not even want Vogel there. 
Jeannie, Jeannie wanted him there. That's not an excuse, y'all. That's just a fact. And it's actually, it's an LA Chronicle. I mean, I researched this stuff, but it's, it's reports. Jeannie put Vogel at the head honcho. First, he wanted Tyron Lue, right? But then when that wasn't going to happen, are y'all, can y'all hear me? Yeah, go ahead. No, I'm just saying, like, I mean, like, I'm just saying uh, he wanted him first and then he wanted uh, Jason Kidd, but then they got rid of Kidd. So you got rid of all his, what LeBron wanted. But I say LeBron deserves blame for his on the court play to, to, to a certain degree. But I'm just saying, I mean, we have to look at the Jeannie Buss as the head honcho. She's the one that has taken everything out. Polinko wanted Woods and Wall. But this is what I'm saying. You don't know basketball if you're not blaming Jeannie Buss. I hear all y'all say all the time, Polinka, Polinka, Polinka. But Palenka wanted Woods and Wall. And if, and if you don't think Woods and Wall would have helped this team be in the playoffs, probably the fifth seed or sixth seed at least, you don't know ball. Jeannie Buss is the one to destroy that. That's what I'm saying. Most of the Lakers fans don't understand anything because they, 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 they blame everybody else, which is fine, but you don't blame the, the head of the snake, Jeannie Buss. She's done everything wrong. From her. Listen, I, I, Alfonso said one time, he said, um, well, Palenka needs to uh, use his power. I said, Mother Effort. He doesn't. This is a few days ago. He, he can't have power if Jeannie Buss, the owner, doesn't uh, shuts it down. Like none of y'all really know what's happening with an organization. It's Jeannie Buss who's doing all this. Y- y'all man, love Elder, right? Oh, no, last, last, no, no, last, wait, last wait, year. Wait, I've been talking for twenty LeBron. minutes. Wait a second. Sure, wait she runs operations. I, 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 this is the clown. This is the clown. I'm, I'm, I'm out. This is the clown talking, huh? Uh, First of all. You sitting there making all these excuses and all this nonsense. I blame LeBron, about. Mr. Buddy. I blame LeBron. Don't forget that part, though. I know you just want to have selective, selective amnesia. First of all, Jeannie Buss, it doesn't matter if, if, if the Lakers would have got uh, Christian Woods and John, uh, John Wall or not. They weren't going to do nothing with those players. Either. Those players wouldn't have made a difference. Hold on, you, how think you, Christian, to... you really think Christian Woods and, and well, John Wall would have made a difference? Clown stuff. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. You really think Christian Woods and John Wall would have made a difference on that. The playoff, sir. Sir, they, they would not the have playoff. made no difference than what the team they got now. They would wow. have made not a bit of difference. You are like Ooh. they were. You are like Christian Woods and John Wall were a beater, like a Brother Kyrie Christian or Kevin Durant. One point one point most of the season in ten rebounds. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, 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 and then, wow. then Christian Woods was hurt down the stretch. He was hurt. He hadn't got hurt down the stretch. So so again, and then John Wall, he, he can't shoot just like Russell Westbrook can't shoot. Uh, so sir, but John Wall, I, said, I said, hold on, brother. I said he's a better – hold on. Let me bring it down to you. He's a let me, let, me, let me go. He's a better shooter, much better passer, higher IQ player, plays better defense. He's he's better at probing the lane, setting – you know what that means? He sets guys up. And what is AD – if he has a big man and a guy who can set him up, um, he, that's when he's historically well, had his well, most success. Well, let me success. ask you this question, Dean. Let me ask you this question, Dean. Go ahead. Go well, ahead. let me ask you this question, Dean. When the last time you heard anything about John Wall? Besides yes, mentioning okay. that trade. Hold on, brother. If you listen to what I said, because y'all don't listen, I, I clearly said yeah, I, I heard said, what we, you said. We're sir, repeating that shit over and over again. I heard that. Right, what I'm they, saying they, is, okay. what I'm I saying is, when the last said, time you said, heard anything about I John Wall, uh, like you haven't uh, heard his name being mentioned. We haven't seen John Wall play forever. I clearly said that. I said, I know, because uh, we haven't seen John Wall play forever. I said that when I initially stated stuff, bro. You, you're not just a friend <laughs> date. But well, what's I your said, point of saying what you're saying then? Well, what's, your, what's the sure. purpose of saying what you're saying, Dean? Sure. Oh, okay, what I'm saying is, okay, you asked me a question, I'm going to answer. I'm saying I'll take my chances with another big man an, alongside AD who can take some of the o- onus off of him offensively and defensively. And then a guy, listen, I'm not expecting Wall to do, be a world beater coming back and he hadn't played forever, but but I'm expecting him to do a better job from an IQ standpoint. And then people always say, because, I mean, listen, this also, I'll say the last thing, because before the season started, I, I, had, I didn't have expectations that they're going to just destroy everybody. Because, but people leave out key things. They, they leave out the fact that uh, Kendrick Nunn wasn't playing, I mean, at all. We thought that he was going to come back. But hold on. Jeannie Buss and the organization also spewed out lies about that, thinking that, oh, he's going to be back. So this team, listen, I know we, can, we can't go back in the past, but, like, with AD healthy and those guys, we thought they had a chance to do something. I didn't think they were going to be a 60-win team. But back to the point, Wall is. A, I'll take Wall over Westbrook from an IQ standpoint, and I'll take uh, I'll take Woods over Dwight Howard. I mean, as as your starter or who, whoever else they have. I mean, I'm I'm a, I'm a betting guy, bro. I, I take the better percentages. Well, again, like I like I said, like I said when I first started talking, John Wall wouldn't have made a difference. Westbrook, John Wall, it wouldn't have made a difference. Westbrook. They both basically almost the same player. I they, it wouldn't have made, it wouldn't have made no it wouldn't have made no to, no no difference. No, no, only, sure. only difference is John Wall got a, a slightly higher IQ. 
That's the only difference. No, it wasn't really. Look, really look, really 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 hold on, bro. That's hold like, on. Look, 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 look. I don't even think John Wall would even been on the court as much. He'd have been hurt just as much as AD. Exactly. My point exactly, and that's another thing. He can't stay up there. No, I'm looking from the standpoint. I'm looking. I was seeing the standpoint of this. All I was saying was because you didn't mention Woods, because Woods would have. Woods would have helped substantially. I mean, because listen, Woods would have helped, but he wouldn't have changed nothing. He would have helped, but he wouldn't have changed he would've, nothing. I'm saying he would have probably gotten you in the playoffs, man. That's what I said. I, I said around a six seed. I think. So you at, think? At, wait a minute. Wait sure. a minute. So you think oh, Woods himself? You think Woods by himself uh, would have got this Lakers team to the playoffs? No, sir. Hold on, hold on, brother. No, if you let me just, just speak, I'm saying with the because no, because I if y'all listen, I didn't say Wall was going to be the end all be all. I'm saying what he could provide from an IQ standpoint in terms of. You, uh, from a passing standpoint, a defensive effort guy. See, you making it seem like he just does shooting slightly better. His IQ is slightly better. He does everything on the court better than Russ. But here's the caveat, though. It's because he hasn't played in a long time, and I've, I said that. So I'm not expecting him to be a world beater since he's not in the rhythm. But I'm saying Woods, bro, at the time, you, you, you realize they declined the trade. Genie and, Genie and those people, they declined it in, um, in February or whatever. At that time, bro, I think Woods could have corrected a lot of stuff. And then by the time AD comes back, then they, they they get in the playoffs. That's just what that's my opinion. That's just my opinion. I mean, from an educated standpoint, that's what I think would happen. Is there a guarantee, sir? No. But I'm saying Woods filled in one of your holes that you had um, in, in the, on this team. You didn't have a guy that could produce like him from both sides of the ball. And then Wall could give you something better than Russ, at least better shot selection, better passer, plays better, more defense. I'm taking my chance. This is what I'm saying, bro. It's not a guarantee, but I'm taking my chance. You get what I'm saying? There's never a guarantee as to how far you're going to go in life. So, so the Lakers, the Lakers ended the season 17 games under five. They, the season not actually over, but as of right now, the Lakers are 17 games under 500. So you telling me that John Wall? So you telling me that John Wall and Christian Woods will, 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 will make a 17 game difference? That's what you telling oh, me. Yeah. You, bro, hold, how, oh, many, oh my God. how many? Oh God, how many? Sir, how many? That's what you telling me. No, let me let me explain. This guy is gonna listen. How many games did the Lakers miss the miss the play in by? Not too, not too too many. I'm not saying they're gonna cover 17 games, bro. But I'm saying they could probably have gotten you seven more wins to eight more wins to possibly nine more wins. This dude is saying that they're gonna cover 17 games. What what idiot says that, bro? I didn't put a number on it. I'm saying, but they would have gotten you possibly somewhere. They're in the seventeen playoffs, games, not games under five hundred, guy. But, what are you talking seven, about? They're not sure. The Lakers bro, are but, seventeen games under five hundred, guy. But how many games they missed the playoffs though? They didn't miss it by seventeen games, moron. They missed it by 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 a handful of games, and, I, and I, I'm telling you, they man, missed they missed the playoffs oh, by what? Uh, like eight six games, games, nine games, maybe. Sure, six, I just seven, told eight you games. It was, it was no, actually six games. Yes, sir. But I I told you this, bro. You said 17, bro. I didn't say they make up 17 But they, games. They, they, they're 17 games oh under 500, God. bro. No, but it's, my, it's the point sir, I was making. Sir, but I'm not arguing that point. I'm arguing the point of that. I think non, whatever the record was, fuck it. I'm saying they would have got him in the playoffs, whether it's uh, eight below 500 or seven, six, whatever. I'm, I, I wasn't, you're bringing up a phantom argument saying 17. I didn't say they make up 17. I'm saying they'd be good enough to whatever record they had to get to get into the playoffs. That's what my point was. You're just bringing something out of left field. I'm not – I didn't care about 17. I'm saying they get you to whatever records you would need to have qualified for the playoffs. I disagree I with that, too. That. That's fine. I disagree with that, too. Christian Williams and John Wall would not really. make that big of a difference on this Lakers. Look, sir, they, they could have gone here. I do believe they could have gotten seven more wins. Why are you talking about 17? I disagree with that. I disagree with that. They could have gotten you seven more wins, dumbass, and you're saying 17, bro. No, they wouldn't. No, they wouldn't. That's hypothetical. You don't know that. That's hypothetical. You don't know hypothetical standpoint, too, brother. You don't know that. You don't know what they would have got because they didn't get John Wall. You talking like that would have been bad. But you, Sir, you, I'm telling you what I believe look, would bro, happen. Every, everybody, listen, everybody, everybody like speaking. But I, I, I'm, I'm just saying. Y'all yeah, making excuses you're for the Lakers team. Here's where you're wrong. They didn't get Christian Woods, man. Let's, 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 let's keep it to the fact. Let's keep it to the fact. Hold on, hold on. They didn't get Christian Woods. They didn't get John Wall. Let's keep it to what actually happened. Mr. Hold on. Trying to Hold on, hold on. Hold on. You see the avatar moving? I'm trying to say something, bro. Bro, Mingle Dester, you're talking hypothetical, too, because you don't know what John Wall or Wood would have done for the Lakers. So you're well, let's, let's keep it to the facts. Well, let's keep you're it to the facts. Let's talk about, about what actually happened. happened. Let's keep it to the facts. Let's talk about what actually happened, dude. Man, if this was Kobe or MJ, you'd be dick riding the hell the ass. Look out of here. Because Kobe, because Kobe, because Kobe and MJ didn't quit and do all this nonsense that LeBron doing. That's why. 
all this clown and shit. This nigga on the sideline. This nigga on the sideline. They ten games under five hundred. He talking about he having the time of his life. Yeah. Nigga, what? He shouldn't and they ten up. games under five hundred. What the fuck? No, please. See, hold on. I'm a hold on. Make me go gesture. I'm a LeBron fan, but I'm also a realist. If he, if he does anything wrong, I call him out. But it's just like I don't. What did this man do to you, though? Because you, you find every way. Y'all always find a way he to circle him right back around to LeBron. Dude. So you don't find that weird that he told me he having the time I of just, his life? And he's hold on, panel. Hold on, panel. Did I not just tell? And this then wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh and then he I had a press. He, he had a press conference. He had a press conference. Uh, praising another GM, Sam Presti, and bro. like who does and that? Then, hold on, who just, does that? I'll, I'll do you one better, bro. I'll, I'll do you one better. I'll do you I'm gonna play as do it. You got no issue with it. Who does that? Mingle gesture, bro. So hold on, this dude. This is what I'm saying, Mike. You're kind of these guys are hard of hearing. I clearly just said 20 seconds ago. I said that's that's not right. That's hey man. I just saw a hot ass white chick doing that. God damn, I mean, oh man, in her car. But, but anyway, you know, you ain't pay attention, bro. You know, you're like, y'all don't even listen, bro. Like, most of communication is listening, bro. I clearly said I hold LeBron accountable for saying that. He's like, when they lost to Milwaukee, he said, We can't compete. You never say that in front of a bunch of people that, oh, we, we don't have what it takes. I mean, I, y'all are crazy, man. Back to the, uh, to the Christian Woods thing, my opinion on that one. I do believe that he would have made a difference. Because uh, me too. what 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 center do they did they have on on the Lakers that could do what Christian Woods do? That's what, I'm I'm that's what I is. said. That's what I said. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you this. I'm gonna tell you this. He's okay. young. Yes, well, I thought, I thought like Christian, Christian Woods was a power forward. Though. No, he, but you he, said he, Christian Woods would have made he, a he, difference. He, he can he, he can play he can he can play both. But he, this is the thing: Christian Woods would have made a difference. Y'all keep saying that. Okay, y'all keep saying Christian Woods would have made a difference. Okay, we believe right. he would. But LeBron, but wait, okay, y'all believe that Christian Woods would have made a difference. Yes, but LeBron sir. is average, but LeBron is averaging 22 shots a game. With what where is his touches gonna come from? It will come from the city. Did you see when when oh, uh God. did you Ooh, see when uh JaVel oh, McGee? God. Let me answer this dude when you're done. Okay. Did did you see when J uh JaVel McGee when they had that that combination in there? When they had the center in uh, Anthony Davis. Yeah, that's, but LeBron that's how, was taking that, that's how it would work. Either. But LeBron wasn't taking two two shots a game that year either. That was a twenty twenty bubble. But, but he wasn't oh, taking oh, two oh, shots but, a game. But this year, this year was an odd year because thank you. You wouldn't have, you wouldn't have to have LeBron James playing play center if Christian Wood is there. You wouldn't have and to have that. And then also, bro, too, this, this is this is what I'm saying. No context, bro. You, why is he taking these shots? Because uh, when he played with AD, it wasn't like that. See, but AD it was out. So you had no other consummate, consistent score out. I mean, who could, who could do it? Especially, that's cap. No, that is cap. Hold on, bro. That is Let me, cap. Oh, what, what's cap? I'm saying you didn't know what I'm saying cap. in the post. That's bro. cap. Huh? If you, in, say, in the if, post, if you say Dwight the Howard, post, if you say Dwight post, Howard, go ahead and crazy. say Dwight Howard. Because no, LeBron, one, because, no, because because once the, the White Howard team, once the White Howard team, comes off the like team. Goat Mike like like Goat Mike like like Goat Mike stated earlier, uh, that a lot of the Wait. players that they got on this team are offensive players. Why does LeBron like, take all these shots if he got an offensive team? It doesn't make that's sense. That's what when 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 those players yeah, get when those shot. play when the when those players get the ball, how many times do they put the ball in the hoop? How many exactly? Times? God damn it. They was putting I mean, it in there. LeBron no, taking all the shots. They didn't have it. You, no, they was not. No, no, they was LeBron not. taking all the shots. LeBron that's taking 22 shots. That's, that, that's, that's a lot. Win, like, man. come on, bro. You ain't giving them chance to do He wasn't giving those guys a chance to do anything. That's a lot. There was a there was a there was a span where LeBron didn't play. There was a span where Anthony Div Davis games. didn't play. 18 games, LeBron. All right, wait, wait, no, how, how, how many did he miss? Eight, uh, LeBron. How many times? How many times did these players have a chance to put the ball in the hoop and show what they can well, do? That's a good. Well, point. I mean, I'm gonna tell you this. I'm gonna tell well, you this. They had a losing good. record with all of them on the court. With oh, LeBron geez. on the court, the Lakers don't have a losing record. Point. You don't with Anthony the Davis on the court, they had a losing record, and with oh, Russ on the court, they had a losing record. Oh my record. god, you don't address so, the I mean, question. Bro. It really doesn't even matter if you are really looking at it that no, way. No, so but not, now, now it don't matter, huh? Yeah, because yeah, they had a losing record with any of those guys on the court. Yeah. See, and then yeah. that was, and then with all three of them on the court, they played twenty one games, and there was eleven and ten. Do you do you remember that week where LeBron had scored what fifty points three three straight times? 
56, no, 50 in the end. He didn't score nah, 50 points three, three straight times. Time. That's a lie. He got he got like three times this year. No, 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 yeah, no, no, not in well, a row, but he was not on the terrible. He was three, on the terrible, yeah. Yeah. Three 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 well, whatever whatever it was, but he scored it, right? Yeah. You know he, he only had scored to, 50 he had to twice. do that. Actually. No, it was three. It's on the three. It's I on the three. He had fifty six. Then he had fifty points. When was the last time? He and had then he had fifty three. He had fifty six and then sixty three. That was it. When was the fifty three? I think it was fifty three. It oh. might have been fifty. Fifty one. One of them. It was one of them. Because I know him having fifty six and fifty. Yeah, that's what it was, and it was okay, only twice, okay. not three okay. times. Okay, oh, my bad. Oh, okay, this dude saying only twice, like, like it's not impressive. Only twice, like it's not impressive. <laughs> okay, <laughs> well, he it, did that, right? They did win those games. Yeah, wasn't he did. They did win those games, but it, it, it was impressive because they won. But it was again, impressive because they won. But again, how many times does these other players that you keep speaking about get a chance to put the ball in the hoop and they never do? Uh, Mr. Westbrook, you remember that game two fifteen? Remember that game Spurs uh, early in the season? That night. That's fine. But right. all I'm telling you is, is that LeBron taking twenty two shots. I mean, you ain't gonna be able to do anything. You ain't gonna be able to show what you can do with Brian jacking up twenty okay, shots. Okay. Okay. I mean, okay. I don't see. Okay. Listen, I don't watch Lakers games. Right. How many times? I don't. I don't watch Lakers games. I watch Lakers games. Are you a Lakers? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Are you a Lakers fan? I don't watch Lakers games. Are the Lakers be up like five, six, seven points? And LeBron you, come down court and jack up are, a three. Are you a Lakers fan? Are you a Lakers fan? What's the point of that? Are you a Lakers fan? They got like a five, six point lead. He's jacking up three. Man, this are country you, is fucked. What, are you a Lakers fan? What's the point of that? Are you a Lakers fan? Run, run, no, I ain't no Lakers fan. But I was watching their games, though. I was watching the Lakers game. I watched actually most of them. Who's your team? I don't have a team. I was a Kobe Bryant fan. I don't have a team. Okay, so Kobe was your fan, right? Kobe, Kobe, Kobe was, was the guy. jacker. Kobe was the jacker. Kobe was my guy. Kobe was the Kobe jacker. Was my guy. Do you know that? Say what now? Kobe was the jacker. He hey. jacked up shots. His, 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 his jacking got him five titles. What? Right. At least that's but, what I'll but, say. But we're not talking about that. We're talking about the point. The, you say he was the jacker. What are you saying? You, you talking about LeBron jacking up shots. Yes, 22 my, shots. That's a lot of shots, guys. Okay. Cool. Fine with that. There's plenty of players that do that. Tracy McGrady. We can go down the list. If they well, have I'll to do if they, they have to do that for their team to win, then that's just what they have to do. But they wasn't winning though. LeBron was shooting that many shots and they still was losing. That's the point I'm trying to get you to understand. But if that's their best shot at winning. That's oh, what he yeah. has to do, right? What you think? That's what you think? Started. What you think? Uh, what you think? Um, who's another player? I can give you. I can give you. I can give you plenty of other players. Damn. Go ahead. Can, let me give you. I gave you Tracy. Mm-hmm. Kobe. Who? I, I said Kobe already. You already. Just 30. I already yeah. asked me what Jester, what did LeBron do to him? I asked him like a few minutes ago because, yeah, oh, yeah, I already got that covered. Something's wrong with this guy. I mean, he's got a vendetta against LeBron for whatever reason. I don't have, listen, I can't have a vendetta against somebody I don't even fucking know. That's what I'm I don't even say. know LeBron. I don't even know LeBron. How why would I have a vendetta against I don't even to try to just dog on LeBron. I, 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 I've seen you on Kareem's channel. You never on it. Listen. The reason why I do that is because when LeBron wins, everybody give him all the credit, everybody praise. Mm -hmm. But when he loses, they always they always find a way to I've blame this. all. A his lot of people always say, "Oh, and the people LeBron around because of this." That's weird as hell that y'all do that shit. Y'all, no, when he wins, hey, Jester, when he Jester. wins, so it's LeBron all have him. a fifty point, fifteen rebound. But when he loses, it, it's everybody else around him. Wait, Jester. See, so y'all have a real way of doing it. Jester, that. hold on. Who's y'all? Because if you heard what I say, I'm actually a realist. I mean, I actually call LeBron out when he messes up. So that doesn't apply. I don't know what you're talking about, bro. Because when LeBron messes up, whether it be in the, in the office or management or on on the floor, I call him out for it. But it's just it's just funny that a 37 year old player is just held to these ungodly standards that y'all place upon him when Kobe standards mean, that got it at 31 at 31. Dude, we only expected him to make the play in. Ain't nobody the way they did oh, think they were gonna make win the title let, at the beginning of the season. Let me ask you this. 
But they, they, they didn't. They, they, they like, missed it. They even yeah, missed they the play. They missed the play in. Play in. Like the they missed the play in. No, this is not what I'm what, saying to you. They what, missed the play in. What was the Lakers record? Uh, What was that? 2008 or whatever? 2000, 2009? They went to like the finals that. in both of those years. No, I, it, it was one of them years the Lakers had a shitty ass record. It was like 17 oh, yeah, and 50. 20, 2013, they were awful. The 17. Season. They seven, made the no, playoffs in 2013. It was like 17. No, sir. No, 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 no. 2013-14 The 13-14 season, they did not go to the playoffs. No, they, they, no, they were trapped. I'm talking about 2013. 2013, they made the playoffs. 2012-13 season, yeah. 2013 yeah, playoffs. they made the playoffs. 2012-13 season. I didn't, say, I didn't say that season, yeah. I said 2014. They made the ahead. playoffs. They, they they made a playoffs that season. Okay, nobody's arguing that. What are you talking about? And and LeBron couldn't that team that 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 2012 2013 team made the playoffs with an old ass Steve Nash and Dwight Howard coming off back surgery. Mm-hmm. That team made the playoffs. Yeah, and LeBron couldn't get this team. Who was the support? And LeBron that? couldn't get this what, team what, to the playoffs. What was the, what what was their record? They was like uh I can't remember. It was like, like 40, 41 something. and 40 or something. A forty-two and it was something like that. Forty-two and forty, something like that. Because I remember the Lakers having a seventeen and fifty-six record, like in nineteen. That was like in, that was like in, no, that, that was in like twenty fifteen, maybe twenty fourteen, twenty fifteen, something like that. Hey, Mingo just said it was forty-five and thirty-seven, bro. And wh- wh- which year? Which year? That twenty thirteen season. Oh, okay. Well, look it up. What, there you what, go. Wait, 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 hold on. There you go. I remember what that year. What year was it that they were? Wait, they were in the playoffs. Twenty fourteen playoffs, though. No, twenty seventeen. Well, next year they was twenty seven and fifty five. Because nah, he said twenty fourteen playoffs. I know, no, no, they weren't in the playoffs. Fifty six. Nah, they didn't make the playoffs. Twenty seven. Twenty thirteen. He said twenty fourteen. That's what he said. Oh yeah, that's wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. So every year, six straight years, it was negative after that. You said six. No, it wasn't six straight years. I said after that. You, I just said, hold on, 27 and 55, 21, uh, 61, uh, 17 and 65, 26, 56, 35, 47, and 36. Oh, I was, I, I was just talking about when Kobe was on the team. I was just talking about when Kobe was on the team. Yeah, when Kobe was on the team, y'all, they he were bad in the last team. four years. He was on Not the team. Not after Kobe left. I'm talking about just when Kobe was on the team. Bro, we're saying when Kobe played, bro. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Kobe made it. Kobe, last time Kobe made the playoffs was in 2013. He retired yes. in 2016. Yes, we know. Okay, okay. 2013 season they were bad. 2014 season they were bad. 2015 season they were done. And then that was his last year, 2015, 16. But, he, but I, I, after Kobe, I, after Kobe, uh, Achilles a tear, it was over with for him. Uh, I think oh, okay. Achilles, yeah, 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 man. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let, but I'm y'all not the same one. Hold on, hold on. Y'all, oh, y'all said, oh, you should. I cannot let you. I cannot let you get away with that because you talking about Kobe's Achilles or oh, all of that, right? But yeah. when, people, when people keep saying LeBron and him with his injury, y'all say, "Nigga, LeBron had a sore fucking ankle." Hold on, hold on, hold on. You can't compare Achilles. No, 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 no. LeBron had a ankle soreness. Hold on. LeBron had ankle soreness. Hold on. Not the same thing. Hold on. When, when? Not the same thing. When? It doesn't matter. An injury is an injury. No, it's not. Know. That's not that's, the same thing. Uh, injury. If I had ankle forties. Okay. That was a, that was a sprain. It was more than not the same was. thing. Okay. Now Frank won. Kobe last. He had a Achilles shoot, tear. Like a, Kobe had a Achilles tear. It's not the same thing. Okay. Totally okay. different. I let you not down two free throws. The thing with Kobe it happened at the end of the season. What bronze it was like in the middle. Yep. And they got swept by the Spurs that 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 2013 <laughs> season too. Yeah, Who did? First that first round, they got Lakers. swept by the Spurs. The Lakers? Yeah, the Lakers did. They got swept by the Spurs, yeah. All uh-huh. right. See, that, that's, what y'all, that's what everybody always like to do. I can't stand that. I hate that. Oh, I cannot what? stand that. As soon as somebody mm-hmm. tries to say so, I, oh, you cannot compare that. No. Yes, you can compare that. Dude, yes, you, you can. can. Come yes, on, you can. Dude. Yes, really? you can. Yes, you a can. torn Achilles to his ankle soreness. To you, ankle soreness. You can't compare that. How can you, you compare? Can. Okay. Yes, you can. I'm not arguing about that. Okay, you can compare it. Right. You cannot. That is not even close. That's not nah, even close. No, no, no. Hold on. Hold on. Just to see. Well, my, see, what I'll say is not this year because it was so many issues outside of just LeBron and injury. We, we all know that. 
but the 2018 season, right? A growing injury, a tear, I, I don't know how severe it was for him, but like a tear, you know, like when you're growing, it's hard to jump, hard to run because because you're it's two forces that are that are constantly pulling away when you're constantly doing that uh, with your growing. So and he missed 18 games, right? And people still say, oh, he should. When they were the third and fourth seed at, uh, at those points in the season, they're saying, oh, he still should have done this. He still should have made the playoffs. Yeah, he came out. He came out when they were like, uh, what? What was it? Six games out of um the eight, even the eighth seed, because that's how bad they slipped. I mean, you know, but now this year it was just too many issues. But you got to understand, Le- so including LeBron on some level. But, yeah, go ahead. But understand this. But understand this, and that that same twenty nineteen season you're talking about. When you said it was the third or fourth, when you said it was the third or fourth seed, there was only two games away from the eight seed when LeBron was playing. There was only like two games from the from the fourth seed to the eight seed was only separated by like two games when yeah, LeBron no, was playing. Hold on, no, 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 no. Yeah, you know, you're right. No, I'm saying I think yeah they barely missed it, I believe, but I'm saying that but but they were out for a, a little few more games and he came back and they were trying to make that run and then they just it was the season was just just ran out. No, you're right. I mean, yeah, that, they barely missed it, but I'm saying. They were like a little bit further out, and then he came back, and then they just it, it was just not enough games left. Yeah, because LeBron had said playoffs activated, and then once he said playoffs activated, uh, the Clippers just took it yeah, to yeah. another level. The t- Clippers took it to another level, and they got that eight seed. The Clippers got that eight seed that year, and but they, they, they beat the Lakers out by twelve games that year. I still well, remember what that. Saying, what you're saying is facts. I'm just saying, but so like, that's I why mean, I wish he stay off Twitter sometimes because. He's bring him. that shit up right there. Hey, he doesn't care. LeBron doesn't even care about these. Uh, these he don't care. That, that he doesn't care about these, these cockroaches, man. He don't give a damn. Hey, yeah. look, continue to be a damn bad guy, Bron. Fuck it. The Clippers still ain't hang up no damn banner yet. So they still will never hang with banner. They haven't. They haven't. But hey, I mean, but the Lakers I got thought 16. for a minute he had. I remember he had that shirt on. I think it had the Laker greats. I thought he was trolling everybody because I thought I saw him on that shirt. <laughs> I'm like, oh shit. Yeah. Well, no, all I'm saying, know better. he better not wear that shirt. He know better. All I I'm thought, saying, I thought is he just, did. Hey, I thought he did. You know, humble. I'm like, oh shit, you don't give a humble. fuck now. Every, when I hear humble talking, I like humble's cool. I'm just saying, but every time he talks, he has some clandestine. Type of venom for LeBron. I noticed that it's that trend, you know. No, but I hold I hold LeBron accountable though. I hold LeBron accountable, y'all. Like in twenty eleven, y'all, y'all think I hate LeBron? I don't hate. I don't LeBron, care if you do or not, bro. I don't care if you do or not. It doesn't matter to me. I'm just saying. No, no. But like when LeBron lost in twenty eleven, when LeBron lost in twenty eleven, bro, I was mad. When LeBron lost in twenty eleven, I was like, how is one person and shit on the other? Not saying exactly. you do. I'm just saying other masses. That's you know. That's how like, why, is. Why, why, why the fuck can we just well? Say they're great hey. players and leave it at that. But fuck, we hey. got to make it divided and shit. Hey, did anybody see Triple H uh, in, in, in a video with Dak Prescott and uh, Zeke and uh, some of the Cowboy players? They they said Triple H is six four. I mean, what she was on, I'm six four. I mean, Triple H is like six foot. Nah, he he's, he's six four. No, no, he's not. No, he's not. Go 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 look at the video, sir. And and people are commenting on that because uh, him and Zeke Elliott. No, he's not six four, brother. Because because he's shorter than Dak Prescott. Go and, and they're wearing. He's six one. Yeah, thank you. They lied, bro. They said he's six four on Google. I'm like, what? I mean, they said Big Show was seven two at one time. Yes, and he's like he's probably six, he, Shaq is taller than him, and Shaq is seven one. <laughs> Big Show probably a good. He's six eleven. Six eleven or some shit. Yeah. Seven. Like, I'm like, wait a minute. Hell, I'm like, wait a minute. Because now nah, y'all look at the video. I can, I can Google it or look it up on YouTube. I like Jack is like was seven foot. Yeah, Dak is six two, right? That's what he's listed as, and like he was easily taller than Triple H. I'm like, and I'm like around six four with my shoes. I'm like, that ain't liars, bro. Randy Orton is a legit six five, though. I just finished watching Monday Night Raw. Mm-hmm. Y'all niggas be all over that wrestling, huh? No, no, I don't love wrestling anymore, bro. It sucks. <laughs> man, I ain't watch wrestling. I can't tell. Oh, man. Yeah, so they got Roman Reigns at six three, but Roman Reigns ain't too much taller than John Cena, and John Cena is six foot. You you know they always do that. They always list them them, them uh athletes. Yeah, they lie. I don't know, or bigger than what they mm. is. Well, Brock they always do They're about yeah, the same, exactly. right? Oh, okay, really? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe, yeah, that'd be true. Maybe it was just a, I don't know. Maybe I don't know why. I don't know. They, they used to have John Cena listed at 6'2 back like a decade ago, and they oh, now he's six foot. 
No, he no, nah, nah, but they, I, I, remember they, I remember when they kept on saying Kevin Durant is like 6'10, 6'11. Nah, Kevin Durant by seven foot. Nah, nah, him and LeBron, nah, nah, he'll, he'll, him and Le, he, wait he, a minute, he, wait a minute. Did y'all see when him and LeBron were standing next to each other? LeBron like 6'9. KD, KD like three, three, four inches taller than LeBron. Nah, KD is just seven Giannis is taller than him. Embiid is taller than him. And they like 6'11, 7 feet. So then that means Giannis probably like seven. I mean, LeBron, I mean, Giannis could be seven foot one, possibly. I mean, they lie all the time. He, they got listed at 6'11. He, yeah. Yeah, because they had well, LeBron listed about, like about six, eight. eight most of his career. Like like six, six, oh, so he's six, mid 30s. Yeah. What the he's fuck? Six, nine. <laughs> That's crazy. I think LeBron like six, nine. They say he was six, nine. I don't know. He was 6'8 know. for the longest time. I remember they said they was going to do yeah, something he was. about doing six, eight, two measurements or something like that. They say he sat on fuck. He grew an inch in his mid thirties. <laughs> maybe with shoes on, he's six nine. I don't know. I think they brought like six eight. They were trying to list Trey Young at six two at one point. I'm like, man, y'all better stop. Trey Young like five ten, bro. <laughs> Give me that. Oh, that's not interception. Now, yeah, Stephen Stephen Curry's legitimate six three. Yeah, he's. I think because he's taller than Westbrook. Mm-hmm. Oh no, they're the same height. They're the same height. I saw them walking down the court if you, back in when, when they were in OKC. I think it had to do with like the body type though. Sometimes too, though, like uh, yeah, like they had. Remember they had Zion like six seven. Zion's like six six. Bro. What like, is he? Same height. Zion's actually like six six. I remember back in 2019 where they did like the actual like players' height. They had Kevin Durant listed at 6'9, but he's really 6. No, oh, yeah. That's, they had him listed no, at 6'10. He's actually 6'9, I think. Uh, K9, brother. KD ain't 6'9. They always make no. a player inch taller because, like, my, no. like when, I play, when I play basketball and when I play football, they had me look because I'm actually like 6 foot. They had me listed like 6'1, bro. Nah, bro. No, no, no. Because have you seen KD and LeBron? They, they were walking to get, uh, you know, alongside each other. No, KD's much he's easily taller. KD's KD about taller. seven foot. Because uh, one of my boys from DC, he he's from um, he's from around town where KD's like people's is from. His, his dad's like from the area. Mm-hmm. His dad is really short, but like his uncle is pretty tall. Like his uncle is um, like when his mom's so everybody his mom's son is pretty tall, and mm-hmm. um. And he was like, bro, if you see his family, bro, on his mom's side, you 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 wonder, you you know who the stronger stronger genes on the opposite side of the family, which is his mom's side, because his mom is like what five ten, I think. Six Who's three. mom? Kevin Durant's mom. He's pretty uh, tall. What? She, Kevin, what? Katie's mom is tall, bro, for a woman. Are you kidding? No, 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 you kidding? No, no, no. That's five ten. It's tall for a woman. Are you just serious? She's five ten? Oh no, wait. Are you? I gotta Google that. I Katie thought she was short tall, male. Bro. What? Yeah, my uncle told me that he was like, bro, his dad's not even out. His dad like what, six foot, I think. Hey, I don't doubt him. I don't doubt him. I, I'll, I'll Google it because I was like, maybe because KD's so tall, I'm thinking that uh, damn, she must. But be his bro- but his little but his little brother is short. <laughs> He's five ten, bro. Wait, how tall is his brother? His brother's like five foot something. I can't think. <gasps> bro, you know nah, your mom cannot be tall. And my mom is like, cause I'm like, with I see, I go for shoes. I'm like about six four inch with shoes on. That's what I go because I mean I don't. Because, you know, when you walk in public, you don't walk barefoot. So, I mean, I, I wear reasonable shoe, shoes, and that's my height. But, like, my mom is, like, 5'9". My dad is, like, 6'3". I don't but, know. I think your brother is, like, six foot. I can't think. He said somebody's brother was, like, 5'10", 6 foot or something like that. Well, my cousin, uh, my cousin uh, on one of my other sides, he – no, my, my granddad, is was he was 6'9". And then I have a I have a couple of cousins. They're like one is six six and one is like six seven. Yeah, I got a lot of tall people out there. They're like in Texas, ain't it? Families and shit. Yeah, probably so, man. Because I mean, you know, but I I, mean, I just say that you know, I'm because like they measure me. I'm well, like without shoes, I'm six three. But like I say, fuck it, I'm, I'm six four with shoes on. Damn it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> man, how tall are you? You say you, you say you're six foot, six one. Yeah. I'm not that tall, bro. Six, six, six. Wait, you said six, six foot is not. It's not tall, but it's not short. Yeah, it's not short. It's like average height. Go, my thing. Go, my like six three. Yeah, I, I used to doubt him for a minute, but I, he said, "Hey, man, it's five eleven, and he, he looked about four inches taller." 
Yeah, Hitman kind of he don't look like he tall though. Like I have like, he's like kind of short. I'd say Mike probably six <laughs> two. Mike about six two. Yeah, it depends like the shoes and stuff like that. See, that's what I'm saying. Cause like I don't cheat. Like I I wear like you know, you know like your, your standard uh sole type of shoe. Cause like you know some people want to wear try to wear two inch uh, shoes, and I'm like nah, I don't need to do that. You know. But I'm gonna have a I'm gonna have a tall ass uh, woman like with my kids. I have my kids. I'm gonna have my tall woman. He's like tall women. Oh hell yeah, man! It was this damn mixed chicken. This uh T-Mobile store I saw, man. I'm so mad. I she was just very nice and she was just coming on me a little bit and stuff. I was like, but she probably like 27 at the time. I was I was like 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 19, man. But she like six two, bro. And she was probably like two twenty. I was like, God dang. Yeah, that's crazy though, man. I like yeah. tall shoes too, though. Like, you know what I'm saying? I look at it like this. I just don't want any like. I want my children, of course, to be very intelligent, and ambition driven, and reach goals and stuff. Hey. But I'll. Nope, oh, Jesus! Here goes Mike. She's just talking over. Indeed. Go ahead, go ahead, Texas. Not to finish the last part. No, I just want my because, like me, I want my kids to be you know strong and you know big built. I mean, I don't mm-hmm. want no damn five five one thirty. Especially as a man, hell no. Nah. Who, who's gonna respect a dude like that size? Five five one thirty. Yeah, sure. Do do be getting like disrespected. Though. Go ahead. Yeah, anybody on? Okay. I especially don't want a son that's like five six, five five, and weigh like one forty something. I mean, like, cause you can get kidnapped or beat up, just jump, just beat up easily. Yeah, don't tell people, man. Tell people then, like, intimidating to like. Short people, and if you know too, like if you go into like business or anything, or you're like a GM or an owner, if you notice, this it's a study. Like people respect a person, especially a man that has a presence about him. You know what I'm saying? Like if you're like, you know what I'm saying? Like you know, if you got some height and you know you got some weight, like good weight, that they they they, uh, they 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 tend to respect that person and have more respect for them than somebody who's short and skinny. That's just a fact. Mm. That makes sense. Yeah, because he's like a scrawny dude, you know what I'm saying? He looks like he ain't, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, when you shake his hand and say, uh, uh, you know, you, you look at me like, it's just, it's just how people think. I mean, I mean, it might be wrong or not, I don't know, but I mean, it's just how people think in their minds. Like, they tend to respect, have more respect. Yeah, perception if, and stuff. If you got a certain presence about you, like physically, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like if Brock, if Brock Lesnar shook your hand, you'd be like, okay, I can. Oh, but as as opposed to somebody like, uh, I don't know, Pete David. Well, Pete Davis is not short, but he's just skinny. I don't know, Little Wayne, Little Wayne, right? It's Little Wayne is, but Little Wayne is a monster though, in, in, in his heyday. So, <laughs> Weezy F baby, and it F don't stand for front door. Mike, are you there? Is Mike there? Oh, uh, he got that too. Yeah, I got all my stuff done early in the day today, man. So, like I say, I just I just can't probably be on Mike's stream late at night, like early, like two o'clock in the morning, because then I'll mess around and stay on longer for some reason, like super. Yeah, I try not to be up late too. Cause I had to work and stuff. I had got up early today. I'm glad yeah. I worked like like remote and shit like that, like. Remote work that's, is fairly easy. Oh, that's what you want. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm all for that. Like, if you don't have to work hard for, for uh, listen, I'm about working smarter, not harder. Facts. Me too, bro. That's what it is in life. That That's how these billionaires get where they are and millionaires, whatever. It's just about, it, there's going to come a time where you might, you know, really, but I mean, nah, man. I mean, yeah, smarter is the way you work, man. Facts, bro. You know it's crazy. Like you said, I had a um, when I worked at Walmart one point in time, I had this older gentleman I worked in the deli. He told me he was like, "Man, he said, young man, he said you should never work hard for anything, especially as a black man. You got to work smarter." At first, mm-hmm. when I, he kind of thought he kind of threw me off guard for it. So I'm like, "Work? Well, don't you got to work hard?" But he was like, "No, he said you just got to work smart, man. You know, take care of your health, your mental health, and everything." Like, 
He said, a white man wants you to go hard for everything, man. That's a good point. I was going to go, I was going to go, go racial. I was like, no, nah, I'm not going to, because I like to do that. But no, and what he said is true, because, yeah, that's like, you, yeah, like you notice, like, yeah, I mean, yeah. Like, look at the quarterbacks in the NFL. Like, a lot of these black quarterbacks now are starting to, um, you know, like, focus on passing because of what they'll, yeah, like, look at what happened to Cam Newton. You, you run, 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 working hard, but then you, you they just chew you up and spit you out. Mm-hmm. That's what the league is going to do. I mean, Oh yeah, yeah. So I always, I always took the model. Like, yeah, yeah. I also the model just work smart, man. Like, you can work hard, you know. what I'm saying just work to you know to your best abilities and stuff like that. Just but working smart, man, is always important. That's why a lot of people, man, they all want to like, damn, bro. Like, I always got to keep people guessing. Though. I don't really tell people a lot of things I do, uh, you know. Mm-hmm. Sometimes best to just keep, you know what I'm saying, things to yourself. Though. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Because I see, like, unfortunately, like, black people at times working jobs, like, nothing's wrong with it. I'm not, but I'm just saying, like, they'll be working, like, at 49, these hard labor, physical labor jobs. And I'm like, I'm like, ah, man, no, and, and, and no, and, and I'm not saying that. I'm just like, it's just like, man, find something that, you know, I always say try to find a career, you know, at some well, you're you're young though, right? You are 26, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, like a lot of people, a lot, a lot of people start going to career, you know, and like around their late twenties. I mean, you're like your mid twenties still. But like uh mm-hmm. so am I, you know. I'm I'm I mean you're, you're younger than you, but uh we're the same age pretty much. It's nothing to, but uh it's just like uh yeah, I look at these people, I'm like, man, you got they all are working this hard physically though, physically. Now if it's your mind, that's that's not good, but I'd rather do that, but you know, but like physically, man, it's like you shouldn't be doing that at 49 years old because it's just not, you know, they're just working you into the ground. Right. That's true. Yeah, man. That's for that. Yeah. That's true, man. You ain't lied about that, bro, at all. That's crazy, though, man. Like, you know, our people, man, they don't, you know, realize like you've been brainwashed. And manipulated mm-hmm. to work hard and then you know by time when it's time for you know retirement and stuff like that you can't you yeah. can't you can barely even move and do anything that's why i say like i see like a lot of people like in our generation and stuff like that um you know they're going on trips you know they're enjoying their vacation and you know they're working smart they got businesses now like minority that's why i think young people got it and, and older people didn't the young younger generation because that's why i say they're smarter because like me I, well, yeah, no, you're right. Like other people, like they're focusing on making money online and stuff. No matter what it is, you know, like yeah. you said, businesses are just like, man. I mean, you can call you somebody can call me a coward or anything, like, because I'm still trying to, uh, to uh, you know, go into like inter- entertainment, which I have trying to work on a connection, but uh, but nonetheless, like, but then, but then aside from that, sports broadcasting, that's what, like, I want to make money in a damn a- AC oriented place, you know, and just because I mean, black people should not, yeah, I mean. You shouldn't have to, uh, yeah. Don't don't slave out, man. I mean, yeah. you make make you let, let your mind make your cash. I mean, that's what I'd say. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, what you think about like investing in stuff like that? You think investing is pretty good, like as far as like stocks? And, you know, I'm actually trying to learn because I'll, I'll be honest, I have no clue. I mean, I have like, um, I have, I mean, I got uh, I got a, a, an amount of money to where I can do that, and it might proliferate to something great. But I'll be honest, bro, I'm not educated. I gotta get educa- educated, and I and I gotta talk to people about that. Cause who really care? You know, who can help me out? Because yeah, you're right, man. You put money in the right place, they say you can, that can blow up. Right. Because I'll be honest, I'm not educated about that. Because I'm not. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie and say, oh yeah, I'm doing this, I'm doing this. No, nah, man, I I have to really dial into that. Yeah, because I remember one time at one point I was thinking about getting into like forex, but then I did my research on it. I just kind of like forex is not really what I want to do. Because um, obviously I knew about Bitcoin. I mean, but there's others that I have to Google because I mean I've heard people you put in a hundred, you can put in three hundred dollars, right? And then they say that because I heard a story where this person told me this woman they knew, and they put they put a few hundred or more down, and then they end up uh, in like a month's time. It shot mm-hmm. up to, to over five thousand. That's what they told me. But but this is like during, I, from what I understand, sometime last year when it was like really hot, you know, during that time, and people were really making a good profit. But you could probably still do it, of course. Yeah. 
Yeah, I remember heard about Bitcoin like my senior year of high school. I was like, yo, this is it's kind of lit, man. Like virtual currency, like and it, and the thing is, bro, they try to keep all this information in in house, you know, with you know with those other people and stuff. And I mean, you know, personally, you know, it's good that a lot of people are finding out about it because they want to keep a lot of the information classified. You know, that that's just how it is. Right, and the banks they hate that shit too. Mm-hmm. The banks hate Bitcoin. Oh yeah, because like I do sports bet. Yeah, you know, Odell Beckham got uh, his all his payments in cryptocurrency uh, this past season. Odell Beckham. Yeah, maybe that. I, I'm pretty sure there's a reason why he did it. Maybe he thought it's a more lucrative thing. I don't know. You know, a Seattle Seahawks player put his entire year salary from 2020 season, and that that he made much more. They say off from that than he did, and you can Google it. Uh, than he did that season. His just his salary, his contract. Hmm. A lot of these, these black athletes are starting to get smart. And that's why, like you said, this generation is smarter. They're smarter because they're using things to their advantage. That Now, I understand the resources weren't there for the older generation, though, too. So, I'm, you know, right. I'll be on. But I, nonetheless. Uh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. But I, yeah, I'm glad you mentioned it. I have to literally just buckle down and probably put a, try to put a grand in there and see what that gets me. And I'll try to do put it there, yeah, see what that gets me. Now, if I start, yeah, yeah, I would change that too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, because I put, I got some money in a couple of stocks, but mm-hmm. it's through like it's through like cash app stocks and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, cash app they they do that too. Mm-hmm. I heard it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I do yeah. sports. I do sports betting too. You know, just a, you know the easy way to make money. Yeah, that's what my um one of my good friends he does like sports betting and stuff like that through uh, different mm-hmm. uh, apps and stuff. And that's, yeah, how sure. he, that's how he gets most of his income because I don't. He has like a job, but it's through like his family and stuff like that. So he gets paid by his uncle. You know, you know to, to work on this and that, and then he puts most of some of his money into like his uh you know sports bets and. I mean, if you're help, huh? He's more like into the gambling side, but you know, I, I've done a little gambling too, and I've won a couple of, you know, what I'm saying, a couple of dollars. Right. Well, oh, he makes money then. That's that's what that's what I'm that's what I'm getting. He makes some pretty good cash. Mm-hmm. And he's pretty good. Yeah, I'm I'm solid. You know, the Lakers cost me almost every bet that I put on them, and uh, I'm ugh, it's I, I just ooh, I can't I can't stand them, man. They yeah, I was committed last week with the Bucks. Bucks game oh, against Bucks. the Lakers against who? The Nets. Yeah, yeah, that's a pretty smart bet. I, oh man, I, I probably would have almost lost it though when they when they were down like by ten points. I was like, shit, I'm about to lose my money. <laughs> yeah, man, it's crazy. Mm-hmm. But people make money. So a lot. Some some people make very good money, or they'll. Uh, some people have gotten rich off of it. Now, obviously, if you're that good, then go for it. But you know, I try to get like. I try to make an. I try to make like a thousand in like ten days. That's a hundred a day. I try to. It's not a guarantee, but you know. Yeah, I know some like that some mean, place like Prize Picks. I put like at least about a hundred and something down. I probably get like six hundred. No, maybe like three, four hundred. But if I double enough that I can get like six hundred back, if I just put down a hundred and I place like what different mm-hmm. like bets, how many yards this player going to get, or how many buckets LeBron's going to take, or you know. How many rebounds a sissy gonna get? Or just anything threes that Steph Curry's gonna make under under six threes or or below, you know what I mean, or up over you know six threes or whatever. But it's just a lot of money you can make and stuff like that, you know. Well, like you make money quick off of the double or nothing, but just I mean, but you have to just win. That's it. it the, the formula yeah. to make your money for sports betting is simple. Just put, is. put put good money down and win. This is the problem that some of these teams blow games, and it's just like, I mean, the formula is easy, man. I mean, you put a hundred down on this game, they win, get close to a hundred back if it's a fairly, you know, good payout, and then you do if you do that like five times in a day, that's five hundred dollars somewhere around there, and you keep doing replicating that. I mean, you could make bank, but it's just too many teams blow games. Mm-hmm. That's true, bro. That's my only problem, but. Wait, is is Mike there? Probably not. I 
I don't know. I think Mike and he might be in the comments. I know he was talking to Slow Songs. I haven't seen her in a while. Slow, slow Songs. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, man. Lakers is out playing. They'll probably bounce back. But you only bounce back if you get Russ out of there. I mean, that's just disgusting. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, just, right. it's awful. That man, that man, he didn't make forty-four million. He is, he, 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 sh he should be in prison for the rest of his life. He just stole forty-four million. Mm -hmm. He didn't, cause he didn't earn not even fifteen percent of that. Yeah, I, I blame like Houston because Houston gave him that contract. Then they sent oh, yeah. him back over to Washington. So Washington, they had a contract. Well, I thought it was, I heard it was OKC. Was it OKC or? That's what I heard, but way back. I didn't, either way, they one of them are stupid. Yeah, one of the teams they gave him a contract. Either I think OKC or Houston, and then they and all I know is that the Washington Wizards got their contract, but they already had a bigger contract. Was kind of like the same similar contract they had in John Wall when they gave him a lump sum, and you know you see how that worked with him in in Washington. Even though they drafted him and that's you know been kind of like their franchise player for a while, but now they took a gamble and you know gave Bradley Beal the keys, you know to the city. They gave him the keys to be you know the, the the leader of the team. So, long story short, like Houston, they kind of, um, I'm, I'm sure Houston kind of smart for getting off their books, though. Mm -hmm. You know, but I think with the whole John Wall situation, it wouldn't have been better. But I don't know if John Wall be available though, man. Like, I'm so well, I'm saying if he were available, I mean, it, you can't expect him to dominate because he once again he has not been in the flow of the game. But I'm saying from an IQ standpoint. And from yeah. just the, just the uh, intangibles, doing doing things more right than Russ. Yeah, he's a he's much better. I mean, from that standpoint, because I mean, and then but then Woods is going to be the difference maker. I thought because like Mingle Jester said, oh, they won't cover seventeen games. It's like idiot. Do you not know how many games they missed this playoffs by? It was like by what four four games somewhere around there. You don't think that that those guys can cover that and then some? I think so. Wait, you don't watch the NFL, do you? Yeah, I want him to be, I still watch the NFL. I mean, I grew up a, a Peyton Manning fan, so like I always, okay, you know, yeah. you know what I'm saying, admired his game and stuff like that. You know, wherever he went, you know what I'm saying, I was going to support him. You know. mm -hmm. But um, um, I still watch the NFL. Like I watch Tom Brady. I like Patrick Mahomes. I think Patrick Mahomes is one of my favorite players in the league. I like Lamar Jackson. I like this new class of you know of players that we got, like Josh Allen and yeah. these new group of guys and stuff. I think that Prescott, he he decent. I think he just got to you know, I don't know. The Cowboys are just a, a disgrace to Texas, man. I, I always say this, man. I feel for, sorry for you Texans. They got to deal with. I, that I, mean, I, mean, I, 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 I was happy when they. Well, well I, I want them to do better now, but I was happy back in the day when they lose. I don't. I don't care for the Cowboys. I mean, hey, but I'm you a know what? Guy. It's crazy you said that, right? A lot of nah. people I know that's that's born and raised in Texas that you know love the state of Texas. They don't like that. They don't really care for the Cowboys like that. No, nah. it's people outside of Texas mm -hmm. that don't like that like the Cowboys. Yep. I mean, well, the cow. Well, well, a lot of people here love the Cowboys, but you know, yeah, I mean, but just, uh, just the people that I know, you know, personally yeah. and stuff like that. Oh yeah, they don't really care for it care for the team. They'll support the team, you know, they'll watch a game, but they don't really, they're not Cowboy fans. Mm -hmm. But yeah. the Chiefs are a really good organization, though. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I mean, they're not going to be a good team this year. I think they're still going to be a, I think they're going to be a playoff team. I don't, I mean, Patrick Mahomes, as long as him and and um, Andy Reid, as long as, you know, that coach, quarterback duel, they're going to be just fine, man. Andy Reid's a, a tremendous coach, man. And he doesn't get a lot of credit because of you know his you know a lot of down balls and stuff like that coming up short. It's short. I just I just don't like them. I just hate the moves that they made. I mean, I just, like they got Juju Smith Schuster, and then you picked up um who was the other guy who picked up? I forgot. I forgot who they picked up. Oh, should have got DK up. Metcalf. If anything, mm -hmm. I mean, I wouldn't, have, I wouldn't have traded what's his name just for anybody though. I mean, y'all got like what two first round picks for uh 
What's his face? Uh, Tyreek Hill? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. But that's – I don't like that, though. I mean, because I want proven players. Like, all these people talking about – like like in the NBA. The, the, the lottery rarely gets you – helps get you over the hump. Right. Because I don't think y'all would be a lottery team. No time soon. So it's pretty much like a waste to even have those picks. Y'all probably should try to make another trade, but mm. they need help um, on the O line. Like the defense is need help. And the defense. Yeah, the defense. I mean, because they got they got rid of Char Davis Ward um, and Char and Matthew. I don't know where he's going to go, but um, we still have Nick. We still, uh-huh. Yeah, we still have Jones. The D. The D. Uh, D Oh, Chris Jr. Chris Jones, yep. Chris Jones, we still have a – I mean, but you got to fix the linebacking core because it's Sorensen. I, or is he gone? I got to check up on this. I don't know if he's gone or not, but he, he was terrible. He's awful. Um, mm-hmm. They they need they need another linebacker, and they, they need to uh, – mm, you need to get another pass rusher, a legitimate pass rusher, and you also need to get a solid cornerback. And then the offensive side of the ball – I mean, I'll, their running attack has gotten better, especially with McKinnon there, Jared McKinnon. But then you also need to get another offensive lineman. But I don't. We'll see what they'll do because they they did not get better. I'll say that because mm. the fact the fact that they only signed Juju to one year deal is telling you that they don't really. It's pretty much it's a pretty much a prove it to me deal. Yeah, he got to prove something before they can give him, like, you know, somewhat of an extension, though. Because I, I don't have faith in that guy. Yeah, I think he's kind of underachieved, though, with the Pittsburgh Steelers. But the then, only playing with an agent, Big, Big Ben, we got to see how it is. With, that's a good point. With that's a, a good young point. Uh, Patrick Mahomes. You know, we that's see a good point. With that. I was going to say that. We got Sammy Watkins? No, 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 no. He was gone. Uh, he went to uh, Baltimore the, uh, last oh, yeah, year. He was yeah. in Baltimore. See, I've been losing like pieces. But of yeah, you're right, receivers, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got rid of Byron Pringle, which is he's a speedster. You still got Hartman there, and you still have some Kelsey, of course. Oh, you yeah, got Travis Juju. Kelsey, uh, nice little tight end. I think he's better than um, George Kittle. I mean, I had a debate about. Yeah, that yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yes. Uh huh. He's been to two Super Bowls. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. He has he has a ring, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. He's he's just not as good of a blocker as uh, George Kittle. That, I mean, George Kittle's a phenomenal blocker, but yeah. but then George Kittle had has he's not played with. Bigger too. I don't know. They're, they're, they're the same size, pretty much. Like both six five, two fifty. Right. But Kittle's more. You're right. Kittle's more physical, though. That's that's one thing I'll say. Kelsey is just finesse, but he's good. But one thing I'll say about Kittle is he he didn't have a real quarterback, and Garoppolo's terrible. I don't care what anybody says. I've said it since 2019. And all these people are finally saying he sucks. Every time he gets hit, he fumbles the ball. He's not accurate. He has no confidence in his ability. He overthrows passes and stuff like that. Yeah. Like, if you watch that NFC Championship game, you mm-hmm. – <laughs> Golly, they probably would have won the game. I, me, personally, I'm still trying to figure out how the hell did they beat the Cowboys. So. But it's the Cowboys. You know, they always figure out a way to I lose. mean, you know, well, <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're right. They find ways to lose. Like what can't go wrong will go wrong when it's time. But the Cowboys lost their game. Yeah, because Randy, huh? Yes, yeah, one. Of, I thought like my guys. You know, one of my you know my closest buddies. He's a gambler. Mm-hmm. He's he he him gambling and winning some money is the reason why he went to Texas to go because he's a Cowboys fan. And, mm-hmm. You know, I, I was going to go with him, but I was like, nah. You know, I had some other stuff. You know, family was in town, and you know, during the holidays, I didn't want to. You know, what I'm saying you know, you miss out on that. But um, I said, bro, I, I I think the Cowboys they may beat them, but I was like, some way somehow they're gonna figure out a way to lose to this team, even though they don't, they have a mediocre quarterback in Garoppolo. I said, the only player on a team that really is, you know, superstar quality is uh, you know, Debo Samuel, you know, and yeah. Debo Samuel, man, Carolina, you know, you know, born and raised, you know, you know, I got yeah. most of for Debo. I like, man. The 49ers got to figure out. So they, really, they really suck. Like the 49ers suck, man. They like one of the worst yeah. playoff teams beside the Bengals, man. They just play hard. <laughs> they just play hard. They don't have any talent. That's the oh, problem. Yeah. When you face a team like the Rams and they had talent, you saw what happened. You know, mm-hmm. 
And they still yeah. added some talent during this all season. Bobby Mack, you yeah, they got they replaced. They just picked, yeah. up, they just picked up um what's his face? Maxwell. Bobby w- Wagner. I mean, maybe something like Maxwell. I said I keep saying Bobby Maxwell. Isn't that who is that? That's like an artist, right? Bobby Maxwell. I forgot who that is. Yeah, Bobby Maxwell. Wagner, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Bobby Wagner. He's a beast. Yeah, Wagner. He's gonna get Earl Clark too, I heard, but um I don't think that was gonna happen, but um you shoot, replaced man. if they Von if they Miller. still would have kept if they would have if they would have brought back Von Miller, man, it would have been even more scarier for that defense. But they got somebody that could play middle linebacker and Bobby Wagner, which you got Aaron Donald in the front on a D line. Oh, they're not gonna miss a beat. Oh, I mean, man, Jalen Ramsey was... bro, in the backfield. Come on, oh man. yeah, that defense is gonna be even. It, 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 they're probably gonna run it back next year though. I don't think they win, but because NFL is hard to win. It's hard to win back to back Super Bowls. Because Miller is the Dallas Texas product, so well, I definitely like him. I mean, but like, what's his yeah, name? Yeah, that's Texas guy right there. He went to Buffalo. Uh huh. Yeah, Buffalo but like, back. then they got you. People don't understand. They have Leonard Floyd on the other side of Aaron Donald. He he's a skinnier guy, but he's he's a problem too. You know. Then they have some, mm-hmm. the Rams should definitely. It's between the Rams, and the Bucks, obviously. I I mean, and then maybe maybe a surprise team because the NFC is awful. I mean, the Cowboys did not get better, but they're if you but somebody said, oh, they're not going to the playoffs. You don't know football. They still play against the. They playing against the. I call them the Redskins still. Uh, Carson they, Wentz. They just uh, traded um, <clears throat> what's his face, Amari Cooper. The Cowboys. Oh yeah, and they, they yeah they never replaced him. And who they got? Uh, they they replaced somebody for him. Yeah. No, you got you still had you got Gallup, you got. CD Lamb, yeah, 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 yeah. CD Lamb, yeah. I think they're gonna, I think they're gonna make him um, the, the main guy on the defense, like on the uh, on the wide receiver. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're gonna make him the main guy because I don't. But what the hell is Zeke doing though, man? Like I, I, I told my homeboys, like, bro, I know you're a Cowboys fan, but what has Zeke done to improve? I mean, they don't, they barely give him the ball. He barely mm-hmm. get any yards. He might get maybe six, seven, eight yards here and there, but other than that, he just, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, he lost his explosion. That's that's the problem. Pollard needs to be their feature running back. Pollard, right? That's the better running back. You know, Mike's team, the Packers, are they didn't do anything to help themselves. So, that's, that's, that's 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 right, sick. Packers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm almost talking to this girl. It- <laughs> oh, that's uh, no, that's my people's. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, no, you messing with you. Nah, you sound like she, she sounds like, sound like she's mixed. You mixed? <laughs> nah, that's my mom, okay. Man. Oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> yeah, bro. Let me, tell tell me why, because like I don't know how I, I don't know how I sound, but like t- tell me why, like. People say, "Oh, this person sounds light skinned They sound something, and, and they say, "How can somebody sound light skinned I mean, you could just—it's right. hard. It's hard to explain. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't. I never knew that was even a thing. How do you sound like? Like I'm look, I'm dark skinned but I don't know. Like, do I sound dark skinned or like you know what I'm saying? Like, I would have thought possibly personally, but that's just. But it's nothing wrong with it. I mean, it's just like you know what I'm saying. Like, you, like you know Drake, right? Like if you listen to Drake, you'd be like, "That's a light skinned dude." Yeah, I mean, who know? Everybody knows Drake, man. From you know. But I'm just yeah, like, like, I know Santa light skin was a thing. Though. I mean, because it's, I guess it's the way like your emotions and stuff like that. How you, you know, I don't know if it's even that. It's just, it's just, um, it's, it's, hard, it's almost impossible to explain because, you know, mm-hmm. some some reason somebody thought that I was, that I sounded white, but I mean, I, I'm half and half, but like, like, like man, I mean, I mean, is he no guy randomized? Is he like a black guy in it? Nah, he's white. I, I could tell he was white. But who's that one guy? I think his name like Joe or something like that came in here and they they thought he was like I think he's like white, but he sounded like a black dude. Ooh, like, go, uh, go, watch, go watch Mike's uh video last with the guy that was on camera smoking a cigarette in his basement. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, because yeah, I saw it before. Yeah, yeah. He he said he lives in Boston. Yeah, I know he, he was wearing a cap and he was in he, no, he was in a car when I saw him. Yeah, no, yeah, I, yeah, I saw him too last. Yeah, he was in the basement. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hold dude sound like Ice Cube or some shit. Though, man. Yeah, bro. <laughs> He's like, Yo, what's up, cuz? I was like, hold up. Cause it was this. I was working at the Hilton Hotel back in the day. It was this. Uh, he was he was Hispanic, but she was cool. But I, I know she can get some good dome, little boy. But 
I was just mm-hmm. talking to this one dude, and you know how you can hear somebody talking, but you, but you can't see, like you don't see them until they turn around and start walking. And I said, I, th- I thought she was a black woman, <laughs> and we started laughing. Right. <laughs> hey, that's, I, I remember when I first heard um, that song um, by Bobby Cole. Well, I thought he was a black dude. Or when you yeah. hear Elton John, you think that's a black man that made that song or whatever. And it, it, it is some white songs that make you think like, damn. See, Elton John can make himself sound all kinds of ways, which which is unique. You know, he can you know, he, he can sound unique in a lot of different ways, mm-hmm. like Rocket Man. That he can sing something like he had a song with Fall Out Boy, which is my little. They hadn't dropped it. They hadn't made anything in a long time, but and then he sounds different, you know. He can change it up and say, yeah, but yeah. Right. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's crazy. crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I don't I don't know how, but but you can just tell a lot of times, like if somebody's like I could tell a light skinned chick's voice or a dark skinned chick's voice or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like, like you know, Stephen. Yeah, Stephen Curry. Like, if I've never seen him, I'd say, yeah, that's that that that's that's the yellow that's the yellow dude. <laughs> yeah, I, my first my first impression when I first saw uh, Stephen Curry was I thought he was a mixed dude. I said, yeah, because I remember when he played at Davidson back mm-hmm. in two thousand nine. I said, who's this little mixed boy out here, damn balling on? He's you're not, you're like, not lying. Pushing motherfuckers out here in the crowd. I was like, yo, he like just cooking dudes, and I was like, hold up. Then they saw like his family, like his parents. I'm like. Yeah, yep. I say no way, bro. It's both his parents are black, but you know they're both fair skinned. They're light skinned. So. I think his mom is like mixed, though. Like I think his her mom, mom is mixed. White. Cause I, you know, I, it's a funny story. You know, what I'm saying I don't know if anybody believe me or not, but um, I had met his cousin years ago. This girl, I believe it. He has a yeah. cousin. You know, they, most of his family is all they all like reside in like North Carolina and, and uh, Virginia. So mm-hmm. he has like you know he has some family here, um, like in Georgia and stuff like that, and. And some family, you know, and you know, all over the place. But most of his family is like, you know, resident, you know, residents in like North Carolina and Virginia. But mm-hmm. I met his cousin else from Virginia and stuff like that. And man, you from VA? Not from North no, Carolina. he's not, bro. Let, oh, let okay. him finish the story. Sure yeah, it's just, it's just, it's just I must have heard that wrong. He, no, he good, bro. But I'm, uh, I'm trolling him. Bro. I'm trolling. <laughs> Well, yeah, long story short, man, like his cousin, she, she's dark skin. She's a dark skin girl, but she told me that, mm-hmm. uh, like Steph Curry, like Sonya, his mom's side, like she's mixed. Like her dad is white and her mom is a uh, light skin. Oh, her dad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but his, well, his, his dad is a, um, Steph Curry dad is a black guy. Um, oh, I think yeah. His dad's like dark skin or where his mom is, his, his, his grandmother's dad's side is light skin or whatever. So, but his dad but like, is. Uh, Light skin. It's, and the mom's it's light crazy skin. though, because Curry lighter than his mom. That's most, crazy. Most of all, his family is light skin though. Like, mm-hmm. but he has some dark skin. You know, family like relatives that I know. I, I just know like two of his relatives because I've only met one off of um, this is off of Twitter or whatever. But you know what's wrong though? I swear they like they distanced us. Uh, I don't know. I feel like they. I feel like Seth Curry is not really like like I forget you all. You forget about him all the time. It's just like it's crazy. Like. I forget about him. Yeah, Steph Curry. Man. I, li- I like Steph Curry. I think he's a cool guy. He seems like he's a very uh, humble dude. You're saying him. Seth. I like Seth. Think, yeah, he says Seth, the younger one. Oh, the, one in Philly, the one in the Nets. Like, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I think, yeah, they, yeah, the media, they do kind of disengage uh, Seth from the family, though. Like That's kind of, yeah, I don't like what they do with that. Yeah, Seth, Seth seems like a cool guy, man. I look yeah. at Seth more. They try to no. They try to correlate Seth more with Doc Rivers and their family and stuff. I know he's married yeah. to his, his right. daughter. That's kind of weird. see the media does that. The media yeah, that messes weird. up. Yeah, you the see media how media is that. though, man. They try to like yeah. They always do that. That so, makes a lot of sense because he is married to Doc's daughter and stuff like that. But they try to like you know make it seem like that you know he more into like you know the Doc Rivers family than. And he's with you know his own family, like like Steph yeah. Curry, not his brother, or, or Dale Curry, not his dad, or Sonya Curry, not his mother. And he got a you sister, know, you know, uh, Sidell, you know. So I, I think feel, he, he's beautiful. Uh, I like Sidell. Yeah, she's actually more caramel. She's like, but no, she's pretty. Though. I mean, I don't give a shit. I mean, she's pretty. I mean, but I'm saying like, 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 but Steph, Steph and his brother, are pale is it? Well, not not pale, but like, they're not like Zach Levine pale. They're not Zach Levine pale. You know, so like me, like me and me and Steph about right around the same. In terms of hue complexion, but like, but uh, what's his name? No, I feel guilty for this, but I'll admit this. You know, Doc Rivers' daughter, like, 
she to me yeah, she looks good. She look, yeah, she looks good, but she looks too much like him though. That's see, that's the conflict. Right. I get what you're saying. Yeah, that's kind of creepy because it's like yeah. You, every time you look at her, all you can see is like Doc's face. Like oh shit. But she's a tra- she's not ugly though. That's the thing. Y'all she's, not ugly. She's, not ugly. She's, she's attractive. She just. It's oh Doc, Doc Rivers face, like he just got like ah. strong jeans. Man. Yeah, that's that's his daughter for real. Ain't no, ain't, no, ain't no doubt about that one. And she's mixed too. Yeah. But you know, it's crazy, like about Steph Curry, though. Like Stephen, he looks like the mom, and Seth looks yep. like the dad, like the sister, yep. and, the, and, and Seth looks like the dad. I didn't even know Steph Curry had a sister. That's crazy. Sidell Curry. Yeah, she, yeah, Sidell. She's beautiful, man. She's a younger one. She's like white. Like I 20. think she just had a baby not too long ago. Like twenty seven. Yeah, she's around my age because she's uh she's married to that guy on the Warriors named Damian Lee or something. Damian Lee, he, 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 went, he, went, he went to Louisville back in the day. Yeah, he was good in Louisville. Yeah, he was nasty. He was pretty decent. He went to also before that. He went to uh some some other school. Uh oh god, I'm no okay, never mind. Fuck it, they don't matter. He went, I forgot where he, he went to like Drexel. Georgia. He went to Drexel. He went to Drexel. Mm-hmm. And then he went to Louisville. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, young goat. Yeah, we know with Jason Kidd is mixed, bro. He yeah. We know that yeah, Jason Kidd, yeah, Blake Griffin is mixed as well. I thought Blake Griffin was a white dude at first. I was like, yeah, no, he, wow. you can tell he has like black features though. Yeah, oh, no, nah, bro. But I would tell you though, when I was a kid, I thought Jason Kidd when he when he shaved his head, I thought he was smooth white. <laughs> I thought he was a white guy too, just like you, Mar- white. you, you think Mariah Carey is a white woman. She she's half uh black, but I, both her, was, I, I think her dad I, is I, like white. Her mom is like mixed or whatever. I knew she was black. I mean, I mean, mixed or whatever. One, one of her, fa- one of her parents is mixed, but like the other one is like white. Mm. So she looks, she just looks like a like if you look up like uh, and you know I hate to pe- bring people kids up, but like Patrick Mahomes, his daughter looks like a white girl. Like, oh yeah, you know what? Yeah, he, he, yeah, Mahomes' dad's black, but like his mom, no, like cause like yeah, if if you're mixed, like and you have a kid by a, a white person, a white chick or whatever, mm-hmm. that kid is more white. They're more white than black. Hmm. Yeah, she's like seventy five percent white and twenty five percent black. Like if I had a kid by by a white chick, my my because uh, my kid would be like uh, they'd be probably like that. Because I'm actually I did B and H. I don't know if it's real or not. It could, it said I'm forty one percent African American, and then but the other is like I don't know how that's possible because I got two parents that are one is this so, and one is that. So. so if you get with like another mixed chick, your kid will come out like light skin. Oh yeah, yeah. kind of like Steph Curry. I mean, I may have one kid, a kid by a mixed chick, uh, or or a foreign chick, or or I mean, I may have one by a surrogate, white a surrogate. Y'all know what a surrogate what is. About a surrogate. Yeah. Black yeah. What about just a light skinned black girl? Shit, yeah, I, I can do that too. Girl. Be honest with you, I can do it. Too. Oh no, no, I said I have a surrogate, a surrogate. Yeah, no, I'm saying I won't need one of like you be in a white woman woman room, you know. Well, you said what again? I wouldn't even want my child to be in like a white woman's room. Oh, I hey, no, I, yeah, listen, I no, 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 I, I could, I could, listen, I can understand why you would, why you feel that way, yeah, mm-hmm. right, man, I, man, I, I, man, I'm telling you, I have my damn, uh, if I'm already like, I'm going to my career towards the end of the year, but if I was already like, but it's kind of hard, if if I were already there, if, if I met, if I met the chick that was at T-Mobile that that one time, she's like six two two twenty, bro. But she was she was beautiful. She was mixed. I'd have a kid by her. Yes, sir. You said that was so long ago, ain't it? About uh, twenty seventeen. Yes, sir. That was a long time ago. Yeah. Oh, how, how how old was I? I was like, I was actually still nineteen at the time. Or no, was I was nineteen or twenty somewhere around there. Yeah. She was like twenty seven. I just became a came legal around that time. Though. I was working at Walmart too. Yeah. She. I knew she was twenty seven because uh. She was, she was saying it's my 27th birth. No, uh, she said two weeks ago was her 27th birthday. So you know, women talk so much. You could just—I have a knack for just catching catching everything. So she, yeah. oh, okay, she's 27. You ain't gotta ask, bro. Most time, women just tell it. They telling themselves most time. Guys sure just don't pick up pick up on it because they don't they pay attention. Credit by their beauty and stuff like that, man. And she had. Let me tell y'all, bro. Is Steven there? Steven out there, or whatever. Um, Nah, man. Like you ever see those chicks with that damn, like curly, like long hair? Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> there's nothing better than that to me. Yeah, I know for a fact Texas got them. Well, y'all got the most beautiful women. I would say, besides California, I would say. But overall, Probably, I, yeah. you know, people put the perception that Texas have like out 
you know, overweight women that don't look, you know, they look disgusting. I think oh. Virginia chicks, it looks just about what? About they, BA chicks? Yeah, I don't know. One time I visited Virginia one time. I didn't really, I mean, it, it's some really yeah, attractive chicks. Yeah, guys, now they don't stop lying. Stop trying to hit, get his ego uh, up higher. No, I, 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 to say, I was about to say, we don't got too many good looking people. Like, I mean, <laughs> there's some, like, 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 I'm not gonna lie, there's one like Latina chick. She was baddest. Like, she had the most baddest ass in the world. She was crazy. But that's like very few. Yeah, that's that's like a small. That's like a small percentage. She of was like, like everything, big things, like a fucking area. small ass waist, fat. Nah, yo, bro, a lot, of, a lot of hold on, hold on. I got to stop right there, partner. A lot. I don't even lot of even like Latinas anymore. But they can have. Yeah. They had like. I want no. But hold on. Let me let me say this. The, the biggest, the second biggest ass I've seen was was I, I told him about this. Y'all, we all were all on there. Uh, this was white chick. It was like six two, like two. 40, but he was her ass was humongous. But hold on, I told him about this because he asked me what I because he, he said, Would you get with the light skin for a black chick? I have a kid. I was like, Yeah, and she's like, She's real pale, yeah. Like, um, it was this pale light skin chick. Her and the white chick were the same size. She had a humongous out of this world ass. They both did. I told y'all the second biggest ass I've seen in my life was, was a white chick. Mm, it, was, it, was, it was, it was ghetto, it was like a ghetto ass, like Moquisha. Yeah, I seen. I seen. That's the biggest. I seen a girl with the fat ass like that. I was like, shit. shit was like two planets, my nigga. I was like, what the hell? You can like, you can get like the gravity on each cheek, bro. That shit was crazy. But then humble also made a good point too. A lot of those chicks. I mean, I don't know about the, the uh, but a lot of these chicks with these huge rear ends can't even really take cock. So that that's just true. that's a fact. Mm-hmm. Right, not all of them. Not all of them. I peed that shit back Damn. when I was in high school, man. I was like, hold up, man, like. I could I smash like two of them, bro, and I just like, bro, something just don't add up, bro. But am I doing something wrong? Like, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, but then, you know, I, I've asked other, you know, other, you know, what I'm saying fellas and stuff like that. I said, bro, you got like, mm-hmm. dick chicks, man. The dude said, bro, they can't really take no dick. I was like, bro, that's that's facts. <laughs> it's by experience. Yeah. Man, but them them skinny Johns, man. A pressure for real, man. <laughs> but well, I know those were like I just say, let me say what you want. I mean, I'm not really into many. I used to love them, but like white chicks, they can take some, not all of them. A lot of them can take some deep cock though. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah, it could be genetics though. <laughs> I mean, yeah. still- <laughs> mm-hmm. I mean. I mean, you know, it's a study that says that they rank on average now. Because I've seen, I saw this one black chick on this porn video. She, she, dude, it was, it was, it was very deep. But I'm just saying, on average, like they tend to have the smaller, like in terms of depths of vaginas in the country. That's just a fact. There's nothing wrong with them. It's just mm-hmm. some things are just like, like they say, Asian dudes don't normally have the smallest dumbs on average. It's just, that's just how it is. I mean, Fine. on average. On average, like you know, so I never mm-hmm. make fun of somebody with how they're born. I mean, you know, you hey, <laughs> mm-hmm. no, I'm just saying, you know, like you have yeah, some people who are just physically yeah. small. Yeah, See, they can't help it, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, you know, but it's crazy though, man. Like, man, them thick girls, man. Don't I be trying to tell them, do I said, don't let them fool you, man. Like, cause I remember back then, like when I was in school, that's all. All the guys wanted was a thick girl, you know what I'm saying? They didn't really want like no skinny petite girl. And I'm like, bro, most of the skinny petite girls was like more attractive facial wise than it was the one that was a uh, that was thick. But I do need meat on my woman though, like like that is, yeah, me too. Yeah, I, mean, yeah, I need I, I need that. That's important. <laughs> I mean, it was one chick. I told it was she was the same age. She was 27. Whoa, wait, wait, hold on. Okay, no, I ran into that chick. Her name is Jasmine. This is, she was 2016. She was 27. So what is she? She's 33 right now. So yeah, uh, yeah, she was uh, what I like to mix, but she could, she was she was pretty. She was a, she was a freak. That's the first woman that I ever yeah. that you ever encountered in that way. Yeah, she's somewhere in Dallas. Actually, I don't know where that thought is, but maybe she's not a thought anymore. I don't know. I just so, know I saw her. Huh? Is it true that Houston has like the baddest women yep. compared to like in Texas? Women? Yes. Yeah, Houston is much better. Yeah. I've heard Houston is like bad though, man. Oh man. Houston is it, it, it got any flavor you want, man. I mean, if you like 
whites, yeah, mixed chicks, black chicks, dark and they got skins. yeah, dark skins, light brown, and they got a lot of oh, they got so many Hispanics. If you like Hispanics, I don't know. They they got Asians there, they got Filipinos there. They even there's I don't know if you know, but like because you know Florida, New York, and uh, Chicago have a, like a lot of different like it's just a lot of uh, different. Cultures and people of various ethnicities, especially New York and Miami, poor cities. But Houston is growing in that too. They got like a bunch of those, like you know when Mike showed. I had Mike show y'all that picture of that chick many times with the orange with the uh, pink underwear. Yeah, her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That like she she's Dominican, but she's Afro Dominican. But like they have a lot of those there. So if you like Afro Puerto Rican, Afro Colombian, Afro Dominicans, they have those there mm. in Houston. So, oh yeah, I was born outside of Houston. So, but uh. Yeah, I spent more of my life in the DFW area, but I know you. I, I know Houston well. Yeah, Houston, man. I gotta go to Texas one day. I think I'm gonna visit one day. Yeah, Houston is nice. Yeah, both the in there. That's where you go to. It's just a lot of content creators out there too in Houston. Oh, Houston, Houston, like Dallas area, yeah. Because yeah, Dallas, yeah, yeah, Texas in general, to be honest. Because, you know, I don't know if you know RDC World, whatever that is. Oh, yeah, yeah, RDC one, yeah. The dark skin dude actually went to the school I'm going to right now, UNT. You, you know, the uh, the main guy? Mm hmm yeah. yeah. He's like, he's always doing, like, them reactions and stuff like that or doing, like, skits. Mm, skits, yep. Like, you know, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's right. Yeah, uh, he, he's living somewhere, I want to say, I think he lives in Austin. I don't know. Austin, mm. where I'm at, I'm in Benton. Austin is about, about four hours away. So, I don't, have you ever heard of a podcast called Double Toasted? Double Toasted. It's like they they do. They're funny. You should check them out. I, um, they're in Austin too, but they do a. You should check them out. They do a lot of funny commentary on movies. It's hilarious. I mean. It, every day they make videos, man. They got they got a pretty good ch size channel too, but they're funny. Uh, double toasted, they're hilarious. Mm, yeah, I might check them out. They do reactionary to videos. It's funny, man. I listened to them like yesterday. I studied for my exam. I did I did well on it, uh, but all I care about is just getting through this this crap now. But like, um, yeah, I, yeah, I listen to them when I study. But, but yeah, they're funny. They're funny, man. <laughs> I listen to Mike's. Like, I was on here. I was studying. I was on Mike's team. But yeah, man. I mean, Mike. 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 Just too emotional, man. <laughs> yeah, he passionate, man. That's, Mike. He. Uh, yeah, that's why I like Mike, man. Like he kind of mind me of like one of my old homies, man, from like way back. That's why I said, I said, man, I like Mike, man. He cool guy. He just misunderstood. He be fine. Though. No, yeah, I don't take him seriously, man. Shit, me and Tom, me and Mike, we'll disagree on a lot of stuff. You know, me and Mike, you know, so he said, let's give uh, Russell a chance. I said, nah, I don't really like Russell, bro. Like, <laughs> he's oh. like, we just got to give him a chance. I was like, nah, man. That's See, I hate when I'm right in these scenarios because, I mean, yeah, you said you didn't know me at the time because me and Lamont, we got into, we're well, not an argument, but he kept trying to sell me this case for Russ, and I'm like, yeah, because I met you around like fall or something like that back in the uh -huh. fall. Yep. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> it's crazy, man. But I, yeah. I, I found, huh? Yeah, I was, uh, cause I told, I told, uh, matter of fact, I said the same thing to uh, Lamont. I said Lamont, bro. I don't, I don't know how I feel about uh, what's his name though. He was like, man, he's gotta give him a chance, man. You know. You got LeBron, but I said, yeah, that is true. Yeah, you, you're right. You're right. You got to give him a chance. And he actually almost did sell me on Russ Mike because he kept saying this, oh, to have him as a third option. How many teams have him as a third option? He had me kind of thinking, nah. But I was like, nah, man, this is crap. See, my thing with Russ, though, I was I, – this is what I was thinking. Like, Russ is going to come in, you know what I'm saying? He's going to, you know, mature his game. He's going to, you know – Maybe mm -hmm. just you know become like a spot up shooter or whatever you know take some mid range shot. He's not a high three point shooter, so he's not gonna make all those shots. But I was thinking he was just gonna come in, you know, discipline or whatever. But I guess you know like, like oh my, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. So you know he 
he, he's gonna he's not gonna change his game. He's been in the league for about you know 14 years, so you know there's really nothing you can do about it, you know. But just accept the fact that this is who he is as a person, you know. So you can't change somebody's ways, you know. People are gonna be stubborn, and you know they gotta be willing to change themselves. So yeah. you know, well Westbrook, bro, I, I can't be mad at him. You know what I'm saying? All we can't do as fans is just you know just accept reality, man. <laughs> Lakers suck. LeBron, man, you know, I you know, say he's, he's gonna take a lot of credit. He, you know, LeBron's not gonna take it. He's gonna take a lot of flat for it because LeBron is a team captain. So, but people say, "Oh, they give LeBron an out." I'm like, "What are y'all watching?" I mean, a lot of people, and rightfully so. I mean, I, like people, people don't listen. I said LeBron should take blame, but like Herm and these people, they they only. But but see, this is the problem with society. I, I clearly criticize LeBron in, in an instance, but. Now, when it, when I shift it over and say, okay, now it's this person's turn, they you just forgot that I just held LeBron accountable. But now, you, but see, because people like Jester and Hearn, they just want to, they they want you to just have a blame fest only on LeBron because they don't like LeBron. That's the problem. Yeah, I mean LeBron. Yeah, yeah, I feel you, man. You know what I'm saying? I think you know it's just one of them things. You know, two parties just can't agree on anything because it's like beating a dead horse. You know, one side, you know, they like, okay, yeah, I agree with you on the takes, but like you said, you've been, you know, you got on on AD, you know, his case or whatever, not being healthy and not being available. But you know, they, you know, they still want to get. Yeah, I'm not mad at AD. It's just like it's just his genetics are just are just flawed. I mean, like yeah, genetics, yeah. So, but that's but but to act like that's not a a big part of the reason they did not go to the playoffs is, I mean, that's not an excuse. It's just called reality. Because, like, when you look at Kobe, right, and oh, when, when you know Kobe, you're a Kobe fan. When when Kobe played the Thunder in 2012, right, mm-hmm. in, in the playoffs, when they got beaten five, Kobe had a phenomenal series. It's just that he didn't have any running mates. So, so okay, so if somebody thinks I'm a Kobe lover because well, they heard me say that, no. I'm just speaking facts. Kobe did not have the talent around him that year. Because listen, they got rid of Derek Fisher. Uh, uh, they sure did. Yeah, and he was actually on, on OKC, torching the team. As a matter of fact, yeah, I, mean, uh, I, I went on record, man. I remember I was in school, I think it was like my uh-huh. freshman or sophomore year, I believe. And I just yeah. remember telling, I was like, bro, I was sad when I heard that the Lakers traded him, and I was just like, I'm I, I just was just distraught, man. I was like, damn, we just really just let go of Derek Fisher, man. This is. This is Kobe's, you know, running mate. This is his guy, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, so it's not. And, and listen, I'm objective though. Like, I'm I'm saying this for Kobe. It's not an excuse if anybody says, "Oh, you're an excuse." Nah, that you stripped him of his team, and now you and you put him on the very team that he has to face, and then you still got rushed now. And listen, they, they got beat by the Mavericks the year prior, so and they learned from that. So you got rushed KD. You still have Harden at the time. Wait, no, no, no. Yeah, you still got hard at the time. You had hard and Serge Baca. Baca in his prime. Then, right, well, he, well, he was young. And then you had uh, Eric Main and Reggie Jackson. You have all these guys. And, yeah, that, that team is not going to beat that team. Now, I'll tell you this, though. I hold Kobe and those guys accountable when the Mavericks swept them. Yeah. that's mm-hmm. That was an atrocity. Yeah, I think Kobe was just coming off an ankle injury, too, when he played against the uh, – Played huh? against the, the Northern Hornets and stuff like that. Uh, I, I went on. I said, man, I don't think okay. the Lakers gonna run it back. Huh. I said, I said, I don't think the Lakers even gonna run it back and win. I, they had a chance to run it back, you know, and play the Miami Heat and stuff like that. But I just think they I probably would have lost because oh, Kobe. Yeah, mine would have would have definitely. Been. But they would it, Miami got beat anyway, so it didn't matter. <laughs> but shoot, that Dallas team, man. Yeah, they were one of the best NBA teams I've seen just for that one year or one season. Yeah, man, because they were that's the epitome of team basketball. Them and the Spurs and even the Warriors, but the Mavericks never they didn't have any superstar players. Even Dirk. Memphis had a good team too for a little minute. Oh, yeah, no, they played the right way. They just could never get over the hump. They could never get over the hook. Yeah, they played the right with a lot of hollers as a coach. Marcus Soul, Tony Allen, Zach Randolph, uh, Rudy Gay, Mike Conley. Yeah. Um, they, I can't say they had this one this one light skin guy come off the bench. He's like he had like a ball head. He was he was pretty Shane pretty, Battier? Not Shane Battier. Battier oh. was on the heat around that time. Oh, he was he, well, he used Shane Battier used to play on the Grizzlies though. He I did. can't think of that guy's name though, but he had like a head. Oh, it, it was it Bayless? It was Bayless, wasn't it? 
Yeah, the Bayless yep. guy. Yeah, Bayless. Jared Bayless. Jared yeah, Bayless. Jared yep. Bayless. Yep. Yep. Jared Bayless. I thought see, he you was know, good. see, you know basketball. If you know those guys, like you understand, know like the guys like that. He he's a good player, but like many people don't know those guys. Right. That's yeah. what you know. I've been watching basketball for so long, man, and you know, I I I just love the game, man. Because I think Ed Davis was on that team too. Ed Davis was a solid because he actually was somewhat of a serviceable big come off the bench. Um, I think Wayne Ellington was on that team, but he didn't really get any burn like that until he. They even the had that Hispanic dude. You don't have many of them in the league, but Grievous Vasquez. Remember him? He was like a six-five point guard behind Mike uh, Conley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was all right. He was all right. I remember they had Costa Kufis. Kufis, yes, Gasol, yeah, they got all. Mm-hmm. Randolph, you said he's yeah, you Kenya, Dooling and yep. Murray Spates before he went to Golden State. Spates. I remember he went to Golden yep. State like two like a year after that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he got he got him a ring or two, right? Yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Quincy Bond Pondexter was on that team. I remember Quincy Pondexter, he was actually kind of solid. Mm-hmm. He was like a six, seven, three, and D guy. Yeah, of course, you said Mayo. Yeah, they got, I mean, they had a very good team. Yeah, they just couldn't, they couldn't beat the Spurs. Um, at all, man. The Spurs. That's why I always say I, I, I got to tip my hat off to like the Spurs at that time. Um, oh, OKC. They couldn't be the Spurs. Or OKC. Yeah. OKC. Yeah, the OKC teams. They were good. Um, shoot, man. Them OKC teams was just loaded, man. They couldn't win. Not even a championship. I, I do think there was some growing pains, you know, saying between like KD and Russ. But this is why I say egos always collide. Sometimes I always seen like. KD is like the beta and yeah. is like the alpha male. Like KD's yeah. KD's more like passive aggressive in situations where I feel like if Russ is upset, KD gonna kind of just shy away and like, you know what I'm saying? Like it's whatever. And like he might Kyrie punch you back. Beta, is, is, is a big dog in Brooklyn. Oh yeah, Kyrie is the big, yeah, he's the, he's the alpha male, man. <laughs> That's kind of where him and LeBron also had a conflict too. But but the only thing but Dan Gilbert wanted to get rid of Kyrie, and Kyrie got wind of that, and that's just so he, that was a nail in the coffin. Mm-hmm. But basketball, it's just, it's just not the same. Like it used to be in the mid two thousands up until like twenty sixteen. Yeah, I think that last championship LeBron won when he was in Cleveland. Basketball kind of like changed because everybody was trying to like imitate the Golden State style of play. Everybody's trying to get like these, you know, these shoot first guards and try to run like the same offense like them. And now these big men, they starting to like shoot threes now. So, you know, that's a lot of four space and now. People complain, but I actually missed the era where it was the Warriors versus Golden. I mean, the versus Cavs, Cavs versus Golden State. That was actually entertaining. To be to me, it was. Hmm. Yeah, I think I think that was actually a really decent uh, rivalry brewing up. I still think I don't know why KD even went. I wasn't mad at KD because you know he's not my, that's not my team, but KD's one of my favorite players though. Um, I just didn't think it was just. I think the rivalry, man. Like, yeah, if it was rumors that LeBron was going to get Paul George on board before KD even went to uh, Golden State. I don't know. I, I it's a it's a what if situation. I still think if you had LeBron, Kevin Love, Kyrie versus you know Curry, Clay, and Draymond, that that's you know so that's a head that's a head on head matchup. That's fair, right? Yeah, and the most forgotten team was you remember, remember the twenty sixteen Chicago Bulls team when they had you probably remember this when they had Rondo and they had um, Jimmy Butler, D Wade. You know, mm-hmm. D Wade played for Chicago. A lot, a lot of people don't know that. It's like, yeah, he played there for one year. <laughs> yeah, he was on that team. Yeah, he, yeah he they was forget that. Team. Yeah, that was not. That was actually not a bad squad. Though. They were yeah, a good team. Bobby Portis. Denzel, I mean, Denzel Valentine. I still think he's like a bust. He was like a solid draft pick, and he was yeah, a solid. Man. He was solid in college, but he just wasn't that good. Who, who was the other guy? Um, Marriage. Um, they, oh, yeah, Nicola, Nicola Mir- Mirchig and Mirchig. There you go. They had, yeah, uh, Ty's Gibbs, Gibson still. Joe Gibson. Canoso was on the team. I think Cameron Payne was on that roster, but come on, Cameron Payne, he, he's a bench guy, you know. He's been in the league for a long time, bro. People don't understand that, like, because, like, 
he's been he was he's you remember this he used to be Russell Westbrook's dad's partner. <laughs> yeah, they used to always you know they go way back. Like he goes other, way yeah. back, like twenty fifteen. Mm-hmm. Like damn. Yeah, that and that Bulls team actually had Power Gasol in that team too. But they he did have a, you know Zach Levine and uh, Mike Dunleavy. Uh, I think Tony Snell might have been on that Boy. team too. No, no, no. Levine was still in Minnesota in 2016. Yeah. What did he? No, was it the 2015-2016 season or was it 2016-2017? No, Levine left. The, and I think he because Levine was there for a long time. You're right. You know, he he actually left um, the, after the 20. Like, and he went. He left. He went to uh, well, Chicago. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that is true. He he wasn't on that team. So, so I after, think it was. Uh, no, you're, you're not your coach. Yeah, yeah. After yeah, Wade left, had, uh, Paul Zip, Zipzer and. Uh, and I think they still had uh, <clears throat> this one guy, Anthony Morrow. He was on that team because remember he was at uh, OKC. Yeah, Anthony Morrow. He was on that team. Um, he was a shooter. Yeah. R.J. Hunter. These, these are like shooting guards that was on the uh-huh. team. Yeah. R.J. was like that light skin, the mixed dude. And yeah. Then, uh, yep. Yeah. 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 Uh-huh. He went to uh, that, that. Okay, that Bulls team wasn't a really bad team, but I think they had too many guards. Yeah. And they didn't yeah. have they only had but like one wing, I think, and that was like Doug McDermott. But Doug McDermott is like a sniper. He's like he's like a okay, he's like having like a smaller Nikola Mirchich. So mm-hmm. you had some shooters come off the bench. RJ Hunter, just, yeah. He he went to he, he uh, Georgia State, played for his dad, and he went to Boston and he went there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You and you know your history, but because that's that's when basketball was good to me still during that era, because yeah. But yeah, Levine went to the uh, Bulls right the twenty six for the twenty seventeen. I forget, man. He's been there for a long time. Zach Levine Jimmy been in Chicago for a long time. Yeah, didn't they trade it, Jimmy Butler, to Minnesota yep. for Zach? Yeah. Yep. 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 Because I think Damn. at the time everybody was pretty much focused on around like Golden State and Cleveland and stuff. Nobody really wasn't really watching. Like every other team, I was watching some team. Like I remember uh, the the Boston Celtics. Even though I hate the Celtics, but they um they wasn't a bad team either. They still were the twenty sixteen seventeen year. Who that on that team? Isaiah Thomas. Oh yeah, Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Isaiah Thomas was man. He got robbed. Yeah, he was. was That's the season. The playoffs. He was going off every game. Mm-hmm. Man, I was that time, man. They did him dirty, man. I still don't. His cousin died the year. Yeah. I think it was his sister that had gotten that car accident. Hey, so you're right. His sister. Yeah. His sister. She yeah. got in that car accident. And then, you know, Avery Bradley. That's why I got to tip my hat about Avery Bradley. He seemed like he always been like a solid guy, like a good friend to like as he's trying to, because he was trying to cheer him up, make sure he was good. Um, I think Amir Johnson was on that team. Kelly yep. Allen, um, Terry Rozier. Oh man, I, had no, I think him and Malik Monk are like the same type of players. Of, but uh, um, Tyler Zeller, Jalen yep. Brown. Yeah. Uh, Jalen Brown. People forget Jalen Brown was on that team before Jason Tatum. People thought they came in together, but no, Tatum. No, Jalen Brown came on that team in 2016 because he came in with like Chris Dunn and them and. Um, and Brandon, and he, he came from that class. Are these dudes that like, you forget because you look at them, they're only like 25 or barely 26. You think that they – like you think these guys have been in the league for a few years or something like that. These guys go way back. Like you look at Devin Booker, right? Mm-hmm. He's been in the league since 2016. Right, yeah, Devin Booker came because I think he came in with the D'Angelo Russell draft. What was that? What was that? What was that? Uh, 2016, right? 2015. Nah, no, no, no. Uh, he was still in college. I, shit. Or maybe he, ah, you, I, yeah, you might be right. Yeah, I don't know. Cause I think he was. Uh, I don't think he was. Was he? He? I think he was like top ten in the draft. But he, uh, no, I think he came like number thirteen in that draft. If I'm mistaken, because I remember Cat was number one. Cat was yep. number one. Uh, D'Lo was uh, number two. Jalil before was number three. And I think Porzingis was number four because I remember New York Knicks fans was mad, boy. They was upset. They was like, Who these is dudes. Guy? It's crazy, bro, because these dudes, they, like, these dudes are still young, like in their mid twenties. But like, and Stanley Johnson they... was in that draft too. Remember Stanley Johnson mm-hmm. went to the Pistons? Yep, yep. Because he went to kind of like Arizona, 
uh, or whatever the school at. Yeah, Arizona, I think. Yeah, he was playing there in 2014, and he, yep. Stanley Johnson, yes, 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 bro, yes. Um, because he, yes, because in tw- yeah, he's his rookie season 2015. Cause I Johnson, remember. Yeah, he he been in the league for a minute. He, yeah, bro, because like because like you know, they look at they're like oh he's 25, 26, so like they think that because he's because he's still young, right? They think that oh he just came in like four years ago. Or, or however, right. nah, he's been in the league since way 2015, bro. Because remember, you remember that year he was talking shit to LeBron in the playoffs in 2016 playoffs. That's how far mm-hmm. back he goes. Yeah, he was because he was like a two way. I remember he came out of college. Yeah, he, he was went sent- to, uh, Arizona. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I think Fred Kaminsky. I remember when they went to that. Um, I think with, uh, they Wisconsin. Duke that, yep. Yeah, he went to Wisconsin. Yep. I remember they played Duke in that. Uh, in that Duke beat him. Yep, Duke beat him. Yep. For them boys was like in a Justice Cook, Winslow, mm-hmm. Justice because Justice Winslow went to uh, Duke. Miami, right? In Miami, yeah, Miami, yep. Yeah, my my because I remember Miles Turner. He came from uh, Texas. I know you. Know I played Miles against Turner. Miles. I played against him. Uh, he went to U.S. I went to uh, Arlington. I played against Miles uh, Turner my uh, senior year, and I played against Miles Gary. He went to uh, Martin, but he played both sports: basketball and football. That's what's up. Though. And people forget, man. Bobby Portis went to Chicago. Yeah, but you know he they had to get him out there too because he punched Mirichich and broke his nose. <laughs> mm-hmm. Remember that? Yeah, Bob Portis has like an attitude problem, man. But and see, that's everybody, not that's everybody, not, you have forget. when you oh. when in the professional sports, like people forget, man. Like you know, like Marcus Smart, like yeah, Marcus Smart, Johnson. They think because these guys are still young that they, they think that they just got here. Nah, man, they've been around since 2015. 2014, 15, right. Marcus Smart. Yeah, like these dudes, they, wow, they, they played for a long time. Yeah, these guys have been around for a minute, man. That's how you know, man. Like, it's always good, like, you know, you and guys, you know what I'm saying, like everybody else that, you know, that studied the game of basketball, watching the game. These guys, none of these guys are sitting, these guys that are playing right now have been in the league for a minute. Like, <laughs> like most guys don't understand Cameron Payne was back in the league in like 2014, 15. 15. Like, like he was Russ's dance partner. I mean, like, come on. Okay. Yeah, that's crazy though, man. Um, yeah. yeah. Man, basketball, man, is uh, my favorite sports, man. That's why I always uh, really enjoy the game so much. A lot of people, um, I, mean, I be starting to think, like, did some people start watching basketball, like, during the Golden State era? Like, <laughs> I, mean, I know these guys are like rock stars, man, because everybody was talking about them and stuff. How everybody just loved, you know, Golden State. That was, that was good for the league to me, man. Warriors, Cavs, rivalry, that was – that to me, I liked it. Mm-hmm. And then KD just messed it up to me. I'm just being honest because it's like, you know. Yeah, he did kind of mess up the. Uh, I don't know. Kevin Durant did kind of change like the the timeline. I would say for LeBron James, because I do. And it's think, not even just. Yeah. Yeah, I, mm-hmm. I do think uh, they probably would have a chance to, you know, probably. But it possibly beat Golden State. They would have ran it back and beat them, I think. Yeah, they would have, but it's not even if about they, State, if, 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 if the if Cleveland had made the right moves, they probably would have beat Golden State. Wait, which year? 2017 finals? Uh, 2016. I mean, uh, 27, yeah, 2017. I'm tripping 2017. Oh, it's no, like, I think Golden State never got. They said they kept Harrison Barnes, and they probably would added somebody to their bench, you know, because their bench was actually kind of solid. They just, I don't know, man. Yeah, they were good. You got Barbosa, Sean Livingston. Hey, man, it's uh, I think it's the normal and stuff. It's for lightning. I ain't want to be on the computer and stuff. All right, man. Yeah, I'm probably gonna hop off, man. The weather get bad, you know. But, uh, any what's what's any any basketball games coming tonight? I don't know if any. Oh, I think the Clippers and the Suns play. I said, have to check. All right, man. Get you later. All right, bro. Yep.